here we go. We are going to start out with opening the lobby, of course. And if you would like to join and play with us here on stream today, then please type exclamation point join to enter the queue for Warframe. We will get you in there. Oh man, so I don't know, what should we start with? Because I don't actually know how to farm endo yet. Which means I don't think we can start with the endo farming. Um, especially because I'm going to be doing it by myself uh, as of right now. So we'll have to... Um, we'll have to wait for some people to join on in before we can do endo farming. But that's okay. I think that's completely okay. Instead, let's start with some Nightwave missions. And first and foremost among them is complete a single mission with only one pistol and a glaive equipped. This will be a fun little mission. So let's do that. Let's unequip my primary and then equip a glaive. Looks like the Orvius is a glaive and then this counts as a pistol. So here we go. Let's do it, everyone. I'm just going to do E prime. Like, there's no reason I need to do anything hard. So we'll just go get the mission done on E prime here. No worries. Daniel, so I heard it's your spring break. Are you getting up to anything fun? Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. There is a large platoon of Grenier Marines stationed here. Leave no one standing. Is it just me or is my camera angle kind of weird right now? I feel like my camera angle is kind of weird right now. In Warframe, like something changed about it. Is that, Am I going crazy? I mean, I know I'm crazy, but like, am I crazy for this is the question. Also, Daniel, you're doing lots of cleaning. Oh no, not the cleaning. I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, it feels a bit low. Like what happened here? Where's my camera setting? Hold on. Look sensitive. No, this is Arcwing stuff. You made an executive decision. What's your executive decision, Daniel? I'm very curious. Very, very curious, actually. Field of view is 90. Hold on. No, we're fine. Everything should be normal. It just looks strange. It's almost like my camera angle is stuck. How it is in, uh... It's almost like my camera angle is stuck how it normally is in, like, relays and stuff, you know? Oh my god, Daniel, that is a great executive decision. I'm glad for you. That's a good one. <laughs> good morning, Joey! Welcome back to stream! How are you doing today, my friend? We are just completing a Nightwave mission really quick before we go endo farming. And if you'd like to help with endo farming, by all means, feel free to join. Press H real quick. Oh, I didn't actually know that was ever a thing that you could move it over your right shoulder. That's exactly what it was. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, K9. That's exactly what was tripping me out about it. Okay. Cool, cool. I don't actually know how to endo farm. I know it's something about the arena on Sedna, but that's the extent of my knowledge, unfortunately. So we will just have to learn. Oh, I also have the dragon keys still on my inventory. I need to uh, remove those real quick. Do not want the dragon keys here. <laughs> K9, don't worry, the dog's got my back. Hell yeah. I appreciate you, K9. I wonder what these Moonlight Thresh Cones are actually for. It just says, like, what how you find them. It doesn't say what they're actually for. But we'll figure that out eventually, I'm sure. Alright, so... I didn't know that that was ever a button. Oh, probably for Silver Grove. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably for Silver Grove. That checks out for sure. All right, so let's put on the, uh, what was I leveling up? I don't remember what I was, Tenko, Teko. And hey, Viceroy Cinder, welcome on into stream. Nice to see you here. 
To those of you that don't know Vice Voice Cinder, they are the person that we raided last night. They were really, really sweet. I hung out on their stream for about an hour. Also a Warframe player that you can check out if you want to. And Beats, thank you for the 15 stream streak. How are you doing? How are you doing? How do you stop a vegan vampire with a steak through its heart? Steak spelled like the, the food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're ridiculous, Beats. You hurt me. I do morning streams just for all of you Europeans oh, and Asians and uh, people on continents other than the two Americas. And this is how you treat me? This is how you treat me, Beats? I can't believe this, honestly. I can't believe this. K9, you might pop into Warframe for a bit before class. Oh my gosh, if you want to, of course. <laughs> Core, you were included. You were. You were. So, anybody who does want to join for some endo farming, just type exclamation point join. Um, and yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't know how to endo farm. Uh, are there more than three Warframes? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's tons of them. <laughs> And beats the Zen A viewer. Wait, you're an NA? Oh, you just have a weird sleep schedule. Sleep schedule or something then. You just have a weird sleep schedule, Beats. I thought you I always thought you were European, given the or African, given the time zone you were in. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you for your kindness last night. Of course. Of course, Cinder. I normally well, I've normally streamed at night, but I'm actually gonna be trying some morning streams from here on out. So we will see how that goes, you know? How many quests do I have to do? One, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Only eleven quests left. We're actually getting through it pretty well, honestly. Getting through it pretty well. Um, until people do join, though, I'm going to keep doing Nightwave. So, kill a Tusk Thumper on the plains of Eidolon. Alright, we can do that. Plains vital on is it daytime? No. Well, yes, technically, but nights in ten seconds, so we'll have to wait for that one. What is the other one? Complete an arbitration mission. How do I set my lobby to public? There you go. Because during the morning streams, we might need to do public. Because otherwise, I'm not sure that we're ever going to uh, actually get a, get a full lobby in here. Oh my god, Ray. Thank you for the 105 stream streak. Holy moly. Hot damn. That's crazy to me. Thank you so much, Ray. That is incredible. Ray is the chattiest of Giga Chads. It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh man. Big number, big number of streams in a row, right there. I don't think I've ever seen in my stream or anyone else's a 105 stream streak. <laughs> Joe, you're wo working remotely so you can sometimes play, just don't tell your boss. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Wait, why is my Kuva back doing no damage right now? Hold on. Oh, wait, it's because of the freaking drones. I forget how arbitration works sometimes. There we go. Now we can actually- Nope, there's another one. Now we can actually damage them. <laughs> God damn, I hate arbitration. Astral Ray is also one of the cutest of the cutest. That is true. And Ghostly Latte, welcome back to stream. How's it going for you today? I hope you're so, so good today. It's nice to see you here again. So many people are actually stopping in early in the morning. That makes me really happy. I wasn't sure how today's stream was going to go. If, like, literally anyone was going to show up besides maybe Daniel and Nixie. But, uh, I'm really glad to see people here. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. And Ghostly, you're just, uh, checking in before you veg. Oh my gosh. Well, when you do veg, I hope you sleep super, super well. And we will see you sometime soon, okay? Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. That is my job. And have very sweet dreams, hopefully, of me. Oh, man. 
Got the tour. It is just so fun. I need to, I need to finish forming this thing so I can get like a full mod load out on it. This thing is a blast to use, or a beam to use, I suppose, <laughs> as it were. Ruffle, you're gonna lurk for a bit. You're washing dishes after making your breakfast. Have fun. Thank you for the lurk and good luck with the dishes. I know it's weird to say have fun to somebody doing the dishes, but I honestly kind of enjoy doing the dishes. What I don't enjoy is putting them away. I don't enjoy putting the dishes away, unfortunately. But hey, that's life. All right, so... Mission three, here we go. Cool. I also can't wait to be done with my new, uh, with my syndicates that I'm currently already, uh, like, committed to. Because I really want to get new loca. I really want to be a new loca girly. They're just so, they're so nice. They're all the, like, plant people, and I think that's cool, like, techno plant people. I intentionally started with some of the syndicates that I didn't like as much, so I could ultimately end up permanently on the syndicates that I do really like. Gorian, you like cooking a lot, but don't like doing the dishes. That's fair. I know it's weird that I like doing the dishes, but I do. Who knows, right? Who knows? Is cooking more enjoyable proportionate to how hungry you are? Kinda, yeah, actually, kinda. I think it is for me. Fight Assassins. New Loka has such a good emote you can buy them. Buy from them. Nice, nice. It's pretty nifty. Alrighty. I um I actually haven't looked at any of the emotes. But New Loka is gonna be last, like the last syndicate that I pledge myself to. Exactly for that reason that I said, which is uh I wanna end up on them because they're my favorite of all the syndicates. So, it'll take me a minute to actually uh, get over to them because I want to buy every. Uh, I want to buy every uh, mod and weapon, of course, from the from the all the other syndicates before I switch over to New Loka. Oh, there's a shield drum. It's like, why are you taking damage? It's because the gosh darn shield drones. Not the shield drones, everybody. Not the shield drones. There we go. New Loka has such a good emote you can buy. Oh, wait. I already read that message. What am I doing? What am I doing? You know what? This actually reminds me. This actually reminds me a little bit of... Uh, of doing those Grand Blue streams, the Grand, Grand Blue Rising fighting game streams in the morning all of January. Maybe I should get back to that game. It was so fun. It really was so fun. And also, prime time! Welcome back to stream! No fair, I started early. I always start five minutes early. Every single stream, I start five minutes early. And we do a starting soon screen and then I pop onto screen on the hour. Right when the starting time is. Didn't Cagliostro get nerfed? Yes, apparently she did, which makes me kind of sad. I don't think it was a major nerf, but she did get nerfed. My rest was so good, prime time. How was your rest? I hope it was fantastic. Wow, you really aren't taking damage here, Isolator Versa. Jeez. Can hack you though. Cool. I just got a new mod, Temple Royale. I've never seen that one before. Huh. And we're almost done with this RB. You woke up in a turn? What do you mean? I'm not sure what that means. Ruffle, welcome back. You only enjoy washing dishes when the water is warm. Well, of course. The water should be warm or even hot if you're washing dishes though, you know? kind of how sanitization works. Fight on. This All right, and we're done. I can extract now. Reinforcements available. Do you 
choose to leave now or continue fighting. Cool, cool, cool. Complete an arbitration mission. Fantastic. All done. And my torrent's max. I can form it again. Oh, prime time. You woke up twisting and turning and decided to get your ass up. That makes sense. <laughs> Kane Nova, it's been a minute. Welcome back to stream. How are you today? I hope you're absolutely fantastic. Oh, this ugly, ugly earpiece. Alright, so now we just need to do Cephalon Simmeris scans. No problem here. Kane, you're wonderful. Good. I'm so glad. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see what the scan target is this uh, this week. Or, well, today. I think it changes daily, right? Yeah, it does. It does. And Kane, you're wonderful. Good. I'm so glad. That makes me very happy to hear. Good, good, good. Corrupted Butcher. Okay, what's the best mission for this? Corrupted Butcher Simmeris. And thank God for the Steam Community Guide. Corrupted Butcher. Best one is Hepit. Yeah, Hepit. Cool. Well, let's go to Hepit. No problem. Where are you, Hepit? There you are. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I don't want to do this. I can just do this solo. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I forgot my lobby was still open. Oh, well. That's okay, though. Wait, Ruffle, your water takes five minutes just to get lukewarm? Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds very unpleasant, actually. Hello, Dragoon! How are you doing today? I hope you are absolutely wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful here. Mr. Blood! Oh my god, speaking of people I haven't seen in forever. How are you doing, Mr. Blood? It's so good to see you. Just switch my internet off and back on again and it'll host migrate. Yeah, it'll also cut the stream off, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Mr. Blood, you're doing well, and myself? I'm so good, thank you. I'm really happy to be doing morning streams again. This makes me... I'm really excited to see how you all end up liking morning streams and how they end up going. I think they're going to make me really happy and be good for my personal life. Over here. Primetime, you, for you forgot you were watching the stream. <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens. Stone String, welcome back to stream. EU friendly time, indeed. How are you doing today, Stone String? Where's my safe and trap? There we are. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Joey, whatever makes me happy. What if it's you that makes me happy, Joey? What if it's you? Hmm. You ever think about that? And Dragoon, you're currently at work, getting ready to head out for lunch. Nice. And Mr. Blood, what's my favorite Warframe? It's either Dagath or Wisp Prime. I'm not sure which one. They're both really, really fun, though. I like doing lots of pew pew damage with Dagath. I also like supporting with Wisp. I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. But, you know, I'll figure that out eventually. I'm making you blush. Hey, you're not canine. What are you doing blushing? And Mr. Blood, you're currently uh, making Dagath right now. Very nice. Very, very nice. She's cool. I like her a lot. Oh, I forgot to form of the Torrid. Whoopsie. Not that I would have earned much affinity in this mission anyway, but... Yeah, whatever. Clem! It's Clem! <laughs> Farming for Dagath was brutal. She was not an easy farm, I agree. She was not an easy farm, Mr. Blood. Teammates? Teammates, please let me extract. 
pretty, pretty please let me extract teammates. Oh, come on. I don't know. I just didn't like... Well, certainly the Dagath farm is better than the Citrine farm. I just didn't like the... Uh, I didn't like having to go look for stuff, you know? Come on. Yes. Thank you. Extraction in a minute. Yeah, Citrine was an absolute pain, for sure. Serious, serious pain in the butt. Maybe I do want to collect every Warframe, even the non-primes. That means I need to farm a second Citrine, though. And that just sounds so painful. It might actually be faster to just farm the Platinum to buy a Citrine from the market, honestly. Like, no, no cap. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll not forget to turn off the... Uh, I won't forget to turn off the uh, open lobby next time. Although the lobby is, of course, open to all of you. So if you would like to play with me, as soon as I finish these Cephalon Simiris missions, we're going to do some endo farming. Feel free to just type exclamation point join. And we will get you in. You can even join for the Simiris farms if you want to. prime time some of these frames are so hard to farm absolutely yeah absolutely absolutely lupus welcome back to stream and thank you for the care package everyone please sit up straight and take a sip of whatever you are drinking to stay hydrated all right leave squad and i'll invite only cool there we go another habit just gotta do this three more times, nice and quick. I forgot to forma again. Well, I'll forma after the Cephalon Simris missions. It's not a big deal. Not a huge deal at all. We received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. It took you months to get Quora, and that's only because you gave up and bought it. That's yeah. I don't have a normal Quora. I have Quora Prime, but I haven't gotten normal Quora yet. Actually, I have more Prime Frames than non-Prime Frames at this point, I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of silly, but it's just because of how I've played the game. I've done a lot of Relic farming, but not a lot of grind for this specific frame farming, you know? Where is the scanner leading me to? Over here. Okay. The worst part of Korra is the genetic code farming. That makes sense, yeah? That makes total sense. I've heard that farming genetic codes is really painful, but I haven't ever done it before. Alright, it's leading me over here. I don't really... Oh, there it is. I don't really like doing Simiris scans, to put it lightly, but... Sometimes you just gotta get it done for the night wave, for the rep. You know how it goes. You know how it goes, everyone. I did that on cap oh, I did capture it. Good. Oh, cool. You are an Wait, that was only one of four for my daily synthesis? That's strange. I even got the progress for Nightwave for the first one. I guess we have to do it three more times. That's weird. We're the sanctuary. We're the sanctuary, Joey. Just don't think about what you're actually doing to these poor creatures that you're synthesizing. Uh -oh. <laughs> stinky. Oh, I might have scammed someone else's. Uh oh, Stinky. Welcome back to Stream Gamer Tech. How's it going today? I hope you're doing fantastic today. Prime, it's not silly at all. Your game is to get all of the regular and then build the primes and then use the regular for the helminth. See, that was my goal, but maybe I want to get all of the normal ones too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But you know what? We'll figure it out. You are here on a capture mission. You must find Gamer tech, capture you're doing boring stuff at work, work, like fixing memory leaks. Oh no. Can you fix my leaking memory? Is that something you can do? Pretty please. Because I need that help. <laughs> I really need that help. 
Joey, you wanted to collect them all too before realizing you had to pay for all the extra slots. See, that's not a problem for me though, because of the 10 VIP reward. That's the good news. So, I could actually conceivably get it done, is the thing. I'm really lucky in that regard. Yeah, I do have a leaky brain, it's true. It's very, very true. I wish it weren't, but sometimes that's the hand we're dealt. Yeah, miss, I won 100,000 platinum at TwitchCon. I know, I know, I'm really lucky. I get it. Trust me, I get it. Alright, where are the scans leading me? Or the little traces or whatever. Hello? I don't see him anywhere. Traces? Anywhere? Bullet, thank you so much for the week-long watch streak. Good luck at work, okay? Good, good luck at work. It must be behind me. We'll see you later, Bullet. Have a good one. Hello? Hello? I'm not finding scans anywhere. God, I hate doing Simmeris scans. <laughs> Actually, we might not finish them. Well, I do need the standing, though. I do need the standing. There's one. You probably won't have fun at work. No, I'm sorry to hear. I mean, listen, I get it, but I'm sorry to hear that. Scans? Scans? Gamer tech, you need to play Warframe again at some point, but there's an overwhelming amount of stuff to do. There really is. There's just so much, dude. And, like, that's one of the real strengths of the game, I think. But it's also one of the things that can make the game really overwhelming. Is there's just, like, so much content. And so many different forms of content, too. Lupus, you're curling up in bed again? Sounds good, Lupus. We'll see you later. You take care of yourself, okay? Thanks for stopping in. Dude, where the hell? Oh, there's another trace. Where's it actually leading me, though? Looks like this way? This way? Is it over here? Where the hell is this scanner scanner target? God damn it. <laughs> oh no. Where's the scanner target? Over here? Over here? Okay. Over here? Looks like it might be this way. I was already in here though. What the heck? I am so confused, dude. I'm so I'm so confused. Oh, oh, it's right in front of me. Aha, found it. Took me long enough. I'm, you're kidding me. I'm out of synthesis scanners. That's a joke. You've got to be joking. How do I get more synthesis scanners? <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. How do I get more of these things? I don't even know. I bet I can buy them from Simmeris or something, can't I? Oh, that is, that is a fate worse than death right there. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well, such is life. I love this song, by the way. This is, uh... Uh, Midnight Train featuring Emmy Meyer. Um, it's so good. It's so, so good. Alright, so let's go back to Simmeras. And do you buy them from here? I need more kinetic siphon traps, that's for sure, because I only have 10 of them. So we'll buy 90. Okay, maybe 40, because it's a lot of credits, actually. And then where's the scanner? S oh, here we go. 25 synthesis scanner. We'll get... If I have 50 of those, then we need 200 of these. 
No, we'll get a hundred. Oh wait, that was 25 times. Oh man, I just bought too many. I have 2,500 synthesis scanners now. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. That's okay. It's fine. I have a million, or like 3 million credits anyway. But, uh, whoopsie. That's okay. You think with the widget I can buy it eventually, eventually it doesn't use up scams? Well, I just wasted a million credits then. Oopsie daisy. But you know what? Sometimes that happens. It's fine. K9, you got two hours to kill. You want to curl up at the foot of the bed then? Oh my gosh! Nixie, hello. Six months of being your sub, and I'm not talking about the sandwich or the Twitch feature. Oh my God, Nixie! <laughs> Welcome on in. Thank you so much for six months. Thank you so much for six months, Nixie. Welcome, welcome back to the Fanged Friends. K9, you're talking about playing some Warframe. <laughs> well, as soon as I'm done with this one last uh, Cephalon Samaris scan, we will uh, be doing some endo farming. I don't actually know how the heck endo farming works, but that's what we're going to be doing. So, you know, if you want to join for that, just type exclamation point join. What are you studying, if you don't mind my asking, K9? You also have no idea how to farm endo? Well, we'll find out together. You're studying journalism? That's actually so cool. I almost studied journalism. It was one of the things on my mind. Um, but I think that's really, really neat. Hold on. Where the heck? Where the heck? Oomst. Where is the scanner leading me? Show me something, scanner, please. God damn it. You're actually one of the best journalism schools in the nation. Whoa, we got a smart cookie over here. Gosh darn. That's impressive. That's really cool. That's really, really neat. Gamer, you found a mission where you could farm the Endo statues one time. Oh, nice. Yeah, Nixie's also a journalism. Well, not a journalism student, but a journalist. Like, actually. Smart is relative. You're a dumb puppy most of the time. Yeah, that checks out, actually. That's fair. Alright, so... Anybody who does want to join for endo farming, please type exclamation point join. We will be starting that as soon as I hit extraction here. The moment, the second that I hit extraction. All right, there we go. And it is time to Look up Endo Farm Warframe. Let's find out how we do this. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's take a peek. There's like a Google Doc on this, apparently. That's kind of intimidating, actually. But we'll see how it goes. And I also need to form a mite horrid now, too. Okay. Um, the basics. Okay. So it's... Rec I don't have Necros, but it is recommending that we do play Necros. Unfortunately, I don't have Necros, but that's okay. Um... You want a mod drop modifier. Uh, I don't have that either, but that's also okay. And then we want yam. Uh, yeah, we want yam, the, the yam node. And cool. 
All right, we just farm yam. Sounds good. Let's do it then. You can bring yours, canine. That'd be awesome, actually. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You have a mod drop chance booster for the next 23 hours, which counts for everyone. Oh, that'll be nice. Sweet. Yeah, that'll be really, really nice. Cool, cool. Sounds good to me. Alright, so... Oregon, welcome back to stream. How's it going? I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic here. K9 and Slim Reaper. You're assuming Necros is a spam too moment. I don't really know how Necros works, so maybe? Probably. I'm not sure. I've never played Necros. I don't own him. And I'm doing great work, and thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yam! Alright, let's eat those sweet potatoes, y'all. Oh, two is the extra loot drop. Yeah, I'm sure it is then. I'm sure it is. Alright, I'm good to go. We will see how fast we can farm this endo. Hopefully quickly. I'm, I'm hoping we can get this done pretty quickly. Because I don't want to be toiling in the endo mines for too, too long here. I don't want to be here for too long. <laughs> how much endo do I actually need? I need a lot of it. I know that for sure. We'll have to figure out exactly how much after our first time doing this mission or something. Budget Minecraft stream? Oh, for the endo mines? Yeah. Yeah, budget Minecraft stream indeed. Uh, F by default to switch equipped ranged weapons. Ruffle. Alright, let's go killing. There we go. Sigil, welcome back to stream. You have an hour till work. Well, welcome on in, Sigil. I hope you're doing well today. Hope you're doing fantastic, in fact. Oh, this is the broadcast. Oh, right, because it's like a fun little arena thing. I get it. Oh, rainy. Endo farm. Here we go. 50 endo. Wonderful. I should also probably do the Ayachin treasure hunt, like, once per week, every time it refreshes, just because I have so many Ayachin stars. That'd be a nice little augment and way to switch up the endo farm, too. Alright, there we go. Yeah, pretty much all of these things drop endo. That's pretty nice. Some drop more than others, but it's pretty decent. Or so it seems. Cause like, how much have we already gotten? Oh, it won't actually tell us. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we've already gotten 300. It's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. 320 in the first round, which only took like a minute and a half, probably. We take those. Except do we need to leave every time? Oh, we do need to leave every time. Hold on, let me read this guide again. Hold on, we need to... Yeah, we need to figure out... If we had a Nidus, we could do a cheese setup. I don't have Nidus either, unfortunately. That's a shame, that's a shame. Hmm. Yeah, it does want you to have a Quora, a Nidus, and a Necros, unfortunately. That's a shame, actually. Hmm. Oh, well. Hey, Primetime, you want to join? Sounds good. Uh, can you just give me your username and we'll get you in? And Omega Boomer, welcome back to stream. How's it going today? 
I hope you're fantastic, Omega. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Wait, I have Cora. Do you have Nidus, Joey? Because I have Cora. That's the only one of the three that I have. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're running Nidus. Okay. So I can go Cora then. I mean, I don't know how the heck to use Cora, but. Like, what's the right way to do Korra here? Hold on. Oh, shoot. I want to have a small dome, so minus range. Okay, I'll have to get the right mod set up after this. Maski, welcome back to stream. We're farming Endo. How's it going? Hope you're doing well today, Maski. I don't even know what the... I don't even know how you use Korra to farm. I don't know what button it is, unfortunately. Is it two? No. I'm not sure. Oh, it's her four. It's her four. Gotcha. Thank you, Prime Time. It'd be her cage and the mod. Ooh, do I have the mod? I don't think I have the mod, whatever it is. All right, well, here's a cage. There you go. And then whiplash them. Okay, cool. Sounds good. We'll have to get a proper, like, mod set up after this. The mod increases chance. Gotcha. Because I need more energy. I'm really energy starved here. What the heck is that flashbang? Hello? I don't think I've ever been flashbanged in this game before. Oh, there's an energy. Oh, it got taken. Rip. So we all pretty much just want to stand on top of each other then, I assume. We can like group up here and wait for them to come to us. That should work. And then we whiplash them a bunch, apparently. I'm not sure what the whiplashing part does. Simia! Hi, hello! Oh my gosh, it's been forever! How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're so good today. I hope you're so, so good today, Simia. Yeah, I do not understand how this works with Korra. Or what we're, like, supposed to be doing here. Wait, that was Operator we've seen. Simeo, you're sick today. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get better really soon. Alright, so now we are here. All right, well, there's a there's a kill. Sure. You know what? Sure. Hmm. Get another dome down. Yeah, so we, do we just kind of stand in the four in the strangle dome? I think that that's the way it works. I'm not sure, though. Who can say for sure? Oh, I'm out of energy. Crap. Now I got more. Simia, you already feel much better. Lots of hot tea and it's helping with your sore throat. Good. I'm glad. That's wonderful to hear. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to hear. Oh my god, the flashbang again. God damn it. Hmm. Simia, am I doing good? I'm doing really good. I'm really glad to be back to morning streams. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how they go for me again. Because I really like streaming in the morning. I think it works well for my life. 
you know? There we go, and... Only gotta kill two more. Ah, Sapphire, welcome back to the stream. How's it going? I hope you're absolutely fantastic today. Simia, you haven't joined your, my stream in a while. I know, I've missed you, Simia. I hope you're doing well, though. Masky, I'll invite you in just a second. Although, no, Primetime actually wanted to, uh... Primetime actually was going to join first. If that's alright. So, can you remind me your name, Primetime? I feel like this isn't very efficient compared to just going and doing, like, Ayatin treasures or something. Optimized. Oh, you don't want to join? You just want to give me strangled? Oh, like, the, the mod. That makes sense. That makes sense. Hold on, let me... Let me go to Dojo really fast with you, Maskey. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Um, and just buy a bunch of uh, legendary cores with that platinum stash. No, 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 no. I, it's not, it's not tradable. It's personal platinum because I want to raffle Lucky Spirit. I don't know what pilfering droid is though, unfortunately. I must confess. Not sure what that is. Tokumi, welcome back to stream. How are you doing today? Yeah, you can check your follow age. It's just exclamation point follow age, Simia. By all means, feel free. Hey, Epic Mind, welcome on into the stream. Happy Mommy Monday. Will you be? Will I be yours? I can be your mommy. Tokumi, how's it going? I hope you're doing really well. Yeah, I can only buy cosmetics or like Forma and stuff too. That's what I've been using it for—is just buying Forma and everything. It's always Mommy Monday. Mm-hmm. It is always Ma Mommy Monday. You're absolutely right. Wait, hold on. How do I undo this? There you go. I just gotta scroll to the bottom. We'll give you, like, a Railjack mod, sure. Cool. Thank you so much, Nuke. I really appreciate that. Cool. All right, now we can back back out. And it's always Mommy Monday. It's always Mommy Monday when you're in the Ochre Song stream. That's for sure. All right, Samia, go get some rest. We'll see you later. Have a very, very good one, okay? Talk soon. All right, so now we need to put this on Cora. Um, pilfering strangled home. Cool. What does it actually do? Let me actually read it. As ready as you will ever be. Oh, 65% chance of dropping additional loot inside the strangled home. That makes sense. Cool, cool. Well, let's see if this goes a little bit better for us on Yam here. Simia, you hope I have a fun stream and you are happy that you got to join again. I'm very happy too. I'm very, very happy. Oh, also, we can do Steel Path. Can somebody actually queue us up for Steel Path Arena? Because uh, that should drop Morando as well. I don't have Steel Path Arena yet, though, because I haven't done the star chart yet in Steel Path. Um, There you go. And I'm ready. How do you farm platinum? Platinum's like the premium currency, so you can either buy it with real money or you can farm items and sell them to other players for platinum. Those are really your only two options, Ruffle. Unless you get super lucky and win some sort of giveaway like me. I still don't know how that happened, honestly. Alright, so we just go find... 
like where an energy orb spawns and then we sit on it, is what I assume. Where's an energy orb? Where are you? Over here. Blood hunter can Bloodhound canine, is that? Yeah. Come sit on the uh, strangle dome with me, you guys. Platinums more readily traded for items. Frames go fast. Mods are cheap, but the right buyer gets it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. For sure. Wow, these things do not take a lot of damage, though. They just steal path. Holy moly. Wait, what's wrong, K9? I'm a little confused. I need more energy for Strangle, though. What the heck? Come on. Okay, oh, nine, you're getting one shot. Oh boy, that's not that's not great. Uh oh, we can go back to. Oh shit, I got one shot too. We can go back to normal uh, after this, actually. Yeah, we can go back to normal if we're getting one shot here. All right here's the strangle dome. And now we murder. But apparently Steel Path does drop a little bit more, but obviously if we can't do Steel Path, then we might just need to go back to normal. Yeah, I'm I'm getting killed. I'm getting like absolutely murdered too. I think we go back to normal. Oh well, it happens. I think it's fine. We gave it a shot, we found it, it's not gonna work and that's cool with me. Oh, there's the double drop from the Shingle Dome. Nice. There we go. Wow, these things are hit really hard, though. Holy moly. I mean, they are level, like, 160, and I don't have a build for Quora, but still, it hurts. <laughs> Definitely hurts. We can just abort if you guys want, honestly. Like, if that sounds easier, then we can abort and just go back to normal. Because we're going to lose this anyway. If we're farming plat, go for the... Oh, yeah. If you're farming for platinum, go for prime mods or prime frames. For sure. For sure. Um... Although, if we're not aborting, we may as well finish it up here. Cool, cool. Wow, I wonder if my turret's gonna do more. This pistol build, like, really hurts stuff that's low level. And really does not hurt- actually, okay. Turret just doing nothing. <laughs> I guess we gotta use the pistol. Unfortunate. Yeah, use Warframe Market to, uh, definitely use Warframe Market to, uh, what am I trying to say? To try to farm Platinum, not the trade chat. That's a good call. That's a very, very good call. Suki, welcome back to stream. How are you doing today, Suki? Oh, I'm out of ammo on my Gooba Brack. Uh-oh, that's not good. How did that even happen? Oh no. And my turret and melee weapon are gonna do nothing to you. So that's not looking super good. Oh boy. Well, at least when I die, I get all my ammo back. That's good news. <laughs> oh wait, no, we don't. We only get one clip. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> yep, already out of ammo again. Shoot. Alright. If you're farming, get a Necros as well. Yeah, we have a Necros. I think we have a Necros, a Quora, and a Hydroid. 
and a Nidus, which is like pretty much the perfect setup as far as I'm aware. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think that's pretty much the... I think that's pretty much the perfect setup. And yeah, Suki, we're farming Endo, or attempting to. None of us really know how to do it, unfortunately. So we're figuring it out on the fly. We did try Steel Path, but Steel Path is, uh, this is our first Steel Path run, and I don't think any of us have the builds for Steel Path, unfortunately. So, uh, we're gonna switch back to normal next time, because it'll go a little faster for us. We might even fail this mission at this rate, I think. We are definitely getting more endo here, but it's taking so much longer that I don't think it's worth it. Joey, you can switch to a better weapon. Whatever works, whatever works. I can also switch to like, yeah, I can switch to better weapons too, actually. I can put on my Gotva and my Broken War. That actually might be a good call. Yeah, yeah, we'll switch to better weapons. Hey, Clemen, welcome back to stream. How's it going? You have your Kuva bow? Oh, that'll be good, yeah. Yeah, let's all switch to better weapons and try Steel Path one more time after this, then. That sounds good to me. I thought my Kuva Brock was going to be enough, honestly, but it's really not. Hey, Senpai, welcome back to stream. I'm so cute. Oh, thank you. Right back at you. Right back at you, you know. Yeah, we did earn like triple the endo on this mission. Actually, I think we earned like quadruple. Yeah, we earned like quadruple the endo on this mission. So as long as we can uh, figure out a way to kill these, kill everything more efficiently, then I think this is the way to go. We just need to do it more efficiently with better weapons and everything. Like, see a see a little damage I'm doing here. This kind of sucks. This kind of sucks. But hey, it's what it is. All right, we only need two more kills though. We can just go over here and kill these things here. Then we'll be done. Hey, Bear! Oh my god, it's been a minute. Warframe's going great today. Can we get a shout out for Behringer? Bear is a super, super cool monster hunter, and I believe now Warframe streamer too. Please go check him out at the top of the chat box. He's a super sweet guy. Super, super sweet guy. All right, good job, team. I'm too sweet? No, I'm exactly as sweet as you deserve, dude. All right. That was that was a little bit painful. Lucky Spirit, we'll get you in after a couple more rounds with this group, if that's cool. You've been following Behringer since last year. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Yeah, let's see how much we got there. You think that putting dome by the door could be better for pulling them in? Sounds good to me. Just like show me where to put the dome next time and we'll do it. Uh oh, Joey got dropped. Oh, um, you already joined back. Cool. <laughs> You're toxic as heck. Don't know what we're talking about. No, no shot. No shot, dude. Why a vampire? Because vampires are hot and I'm hot. What more do I have to say? Set. Honestly. Service Joe weapons myself. Hold on, let's get um. So what else do we want here? Instead of redirection, we probably want like catalyzing shields would be good. And then we wanted lower range for the strangle dome. Minus, okay, narrow-minded. Increased duration, minus range. This will be actually really good. Um, 
let's go ahead and boost this one up just a little bit. I'm not going to spend too much endo on this, but we'll boost it up. Oh my god, Bear, thank you for the gift sub. What the heck? Oh, Masky, do you want a larger strangle dome? I thought you wanted a smaller strangle dome. Is that not true? Which one do you want? Do you want large or small? Smaller is better. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Because if, if you do smaller, if you do smaller, then what ends up happening is you, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, it, they get sucked in further, you know, so you can hit them more easily. Yeah. How is Cora? I've honestly never really played her before right now. Um, all right, I'm ready to go. I've never really played her before right now, except just to level her. But she seems fun enough, yeah. She, we're just farming Endo, so... Farming Endo is, uh... Actually, I'm going to put on my Nadarok, so I have infinite ammo. No, I don't think I did mod my Kavat, actually. What's the best way to mod my Kavat? Out of curiosity. How do you mod your Kavat? Oh, here it is. I see. Hunter Synergy. Hey, Polite. Congratulations on your gift sub, and thank you for the follow. My name's Ileana. I'm your cozy vampire, and I am currently farming under with chat. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, sure, we'll just throw random shit on here now. I don't really care. Cool. All right, nice. Sorry for the delay. I'm good to go. God, one thing I don't like about Cora Prime, though, is she's so ugly. <laughs> like, I don't like how she looks, honestly. Masky, not you using a 235% range shingle dome. Oh, no. Oopsie. Oopsie, oopsie. I just, I think she has, like, too many, like... She has too much, like, gilding on her, if that makes sense. She's too much gilding on her. I don't actually think it's the head. I think it's the, uh, like, all of the parts on her body, like, all the metal strips on her body. Joey, can you mark where you want me to put the strangle dome? I know I can use the classic skin, yeah. Okay, so put it right here. Sounds good. Oh, well, that's a tiny freaking strangle dome. Okay. Works for me. Cool. This works, yeah. That's fair. There's some Warframes that you just can't get yourself to enjoy how they look. Yeah, yeah. I so get that there. One of your favorite things to do in this game is just to look at everybody's style and see how they uh, make their Warframes look same. People are so inventive in this game, honestly. People are so, so, so inventive in this game. Fashion frame is real. It's so real. Hey, this is going a lot better. Look at us go. Good job, team. And whoa, we're farming Endo fast now. This is nice. Okay, cool. Ray, you're at work now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope work goes well for you today, right? Yoink. Yoink. Cool. All right. Very nice. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this for without getting bored as all hell, but you know what? For the time being, we can farm Spendo this way. Let's set a goal for ourselves. Let's say either an hour of this or 50,000 endo. 
one of the two. I'm starting here at a... Uh, I'm not actually sure what I'm starting at, but that's okay. We'll check after this mission. Weapon! Thank you for the eight months! Oh my gosh! Hi, Weapon! Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back to stream. I hope you're doing fantastic today. Damn, that went really well. Well played, everyone. Cool. We take those. Yeah, Joey, that was a lot better, for sure. Yeah, we got 2,500 endo in like a minute right there. That's insane, actually. That's so good. Let me see how much endo we have. We currently have... Uh, actually, how do I see how much endo I have? Hold on. Equipment, inventory, endo. No. Where the heck do you see your endo? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Oh, thank you, Joey. Endo. Oh, wait, no. Wait, you can buy endo with platinum? I guess that makes kind of, kind of makes sense. I'm not super surprised you can buy endo with platinum. I feel like that's a bad use of platinum, though. Oh, well. So that's 2,500. If we want to get... Let's do this, like, 10 times. That's 25,000 platinum. Oh, bear. It's, it's supposed to be at the top, but it's hidden by the current mission ready. Gotcha. That makes sense. That's why I couldn't find it. Yeah, I felt like I was going crazy, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad I'm not crazy. Or, not crazy for this at least. I'm definitely crazy for other things. Like Cocoa Puffs. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Kellogg, sponsor me. Oopsie. Ruffle, tips on figuring out which Warframe to try unlocking. Just whatever one sounds the most fun to you, my friend. That's all there really is to it. Does it sound like it would be fun for you to play? If so, may as well get that one. I actually have never had Cocoa Puffs in my life. I don't think I'd like them. I don't like overly sugary cereal. As much as I do love chocolate, I don't think Cocoa Puffs would be for me. That being said, nonetheless, I am still a woman of culture. You're right about that there. You're right about that. Have you been playing uh, any world uh, ice mod lately, Bear? I remember your ice mod streams. Those were uh, those were really nice. Actually, when is the last time you've streamed? I haven't seen you on in a while. Maybe we're just missing each other time-wise, though. Oh shit! Or maybe, actually, maybe. God fucking damn it, Bear! I just checked. You were one of the people that Twitch unfollowed me from. I discovered about a, a week ago that Twitch unfollowed me from so many people. I don't know why. Like, it unfollowed me from you, Alice, uh, Sugar Fox. I do not know what happened. But there you go. You gotta follow again. <laughs> That's so infuriating. It's like all these streamers that I used to watch and hang out, hang out in their streams. I was like, what happened to this person? Did they just stop streaming? Nope, Twitch just unfollowed me. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck did Bear go? I used to watch his ice mod streams all the time. God damn it. Problem solved. Dang, I got 15 kills right there. Broken War is strong. Alright, so... Before we queue back up, I do want to see how much endo I'm starting with here. Yeah, we're getting like 2,500 per mission. Oh, wait, no, it's not at the top. 
What the heck? Where the hell do you see your endo? <laughs> I truly don't know. Check the mod station. I am. It's not here. Oh, here it is. 22,000. There you go. Cool, cool. We're at 22,000 right now. Let's get to 50,000. We can stop once I'm at 50,000. Bear. It makes you feel so all over the place when that happens to you. You like you're like, hey, I wonder why so and so hasn't streamed, and then you find out you're not following them anymore, right? Twitch just does it. It's so weird, dude. It bothers me so much though. I kinda hate it. Not even kind of. I really hate it. I've noticed that somebody told me, and I think I've noticed anecdotally, that um the more that a that Twitch seems more likely to unfollow you if you've followed somebody from the mobile app, which checks out because the mobile app fucking sucks. Um, and I used to use the mobile app, mobile app a lot too, so that seems to check out for me. Um. Yeah, the mobile app is just terrible. It's just awful. I actually don't even have it installed on my phone anymore, though. I refuse to, uh... I refuse to engage with it. I was using it for a while to post Twitch stories, but... I don't know. It's not worth it to me to be able to post stories. They should just give us the ability to post stories from desktop. Alright, I am ready to go. As soon as you all are. Okay, and uh, Prime. The, um, I think the thing, it's like Twitch could be so much more if they had a functional mobile app. And I'm sure, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely sure that, um, I'm absolutely sure that if that it's like hard to make a good mobile app, right? There's no doubt in my mind that it's really hard to make a good mobile app that can actually serve streams. Like that's insane. Streams are crazy. It's like so much technical requirements, so much bandwidth, so much everything. And to get chat on top of that, that's really tough. But that being said, it's no excuse for Twitch not having a functional mobile app. And I do think with how much people use their phones and stuff nowadays, I do think that if Twitch's mobile app are better, it would be really, really good for the community as a whole, like everyone, you know. But no dice, no dice, no dice. And yeah, K9, take your time. We're going to do... Uh, Three more, and then I'll switch out prime time for Lucky Spirit, if that's okay with y'all. I'm actually pretty close to finishing Nightwave. I've never finished a Nightwave before. Although, I guess this is my only only my second Nightwave, in fairness. That's all from me. Ruffle, you're only using the mobile app because your computer lags too much to run a game and a video. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, don't get me wrong, I think that checks out and that makes a ton of sense, but still. I still wish it freaking worked, you know? I do really want my Titania Prime. I kind of can't wait until... Kind of can't wait until my Titania Prime is ready. It'll be really good. I also can't wait until I have an actual build on my Torrid. That is going to be so much fun. So, so, so much fun. And thank you for the lurk, Bear. We'll see you later, okay? Have a very good one. I love this song, too. This is, a. Uh, this is, a uh, Gold Gun Girls, Gold Guns Girls by Metric. Metric is just such a good band in general. 
mask use my platinum to speed it up it won't hurt anything i'm trying not to spend my platinum just willy-nilly because if i start just spending my platinum on everything that's how it disappears right if i'm cautious about not spending it on literally everything then a hundred thousand platinum will last me for a very very long time so yeah I actually also need to do the Thermia Fracture event at some point. I haven't finished it yet. Need my Opticore Vandal. You feel that? You use Platinum to get mods and primes, then to help others who need it. Nice. Yeah. I wish I could do stuff like that, but I just can't because it's not tradable. It's all personal. Well, most of it's personal. A little bit of it is not personal, but most of it is. That's okay, though. You know, I think that's totally fine. Joker, I actually already have a form of build that I'm building, but thank you so much for offering, and welcome back to the stream. How are you doing tonight, Joker? Well, not tonight. I'm streaming in the mornings now. How are you doing this morning? Hopefully really, really good. All right, game time. You're doing all right, me? I'm doing well. I feel like I'm like have morning voice a little bit this morning. Like my voice just seems kind of tired because I'm kind of tired. But you know what? I think that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Who's silent one? Good luck with your grocery shopping. We'll see you soon. You take care of yourself, okay? And, oh, Lucky Spirit, you want to be my favorite for the next hour? Oh, you sweet thing, you can be my favorite. Oh, shit, I died. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, morning voice. I mean, that's like a thing that people get, right? I feel like I've heard people talking about it before. I mean, it's definitely a thing. I think that's the term, is what I mean. Oh, there aren't even- I'm just like slashing and there aren't even any enemies here. I'm so smart. I'm so good at video games. There's an enemy. Alright. Give me the endo. Give me the endo. We're in the mines. Oh, I need more energy for strangle them. Uh oh. Hold on. I'm gonna go grab an energy orb really fast. Oh no, it's on cooldown. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Now we've got a strangle dome. Perfect. That's what we like to see. It's exactly what we like to see. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Strangle Dome's this way. Get in here. Get in here. Come on. Huh? Come on. Strangle Dome's this way. Get over here. It's interesting, it looks like you need a certain amount of energy to cast Strangle Dome, but it doesn't actually use any. It's kind of weird. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. The, um... Oh, flash winged. God, I hate that the flash wings are a thing, honestly. This is just blinding. You just found out you can buy Warframes with credits. You can buy their blueprints with credits. But you'll need to farm the parts, Ruffle. Important distinction there. Important, important distinction there. Oh boy. Okay. You buy the blueprints with credits and then you have to farm the parts for them, essentially. And then you can use the blueprints and the parts to build the Warframe. 
Well, you also have to build the parts too. And Balthros, thank you for both stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, Balthros. Good luck with work and thank you for stopping in. Well, it's nice to see you here. All right, just two more kills. Let's see how much we got this time. Probably a decent bit. Yeah, 2300. We're getting like 2500 every time. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. This is a pretty, uh, pretty efficient farm, actually, it seems like. A pretty efficient farm. All right, I am ready. This will be our last one before we rotate the lobby a little bit, as long as it's cool with y'all. Uh-oh, my core is infected. I got the cyst. Uh-oh. I can make a gross dog now. <laughs> gross dog time. That was nice. No, it's fine, Joey. I just think it's funny. All right, here we go. Modifier scaling enemies. Uh oh, that's actually kind of dangerous for us, I think. For dangerous for me. Nida, stop spreading space herpes. If you get the skin for the helmet, he doesn't look gross. I didn't even know there was a helmet skin, really. Huh. That's kind of weird, actually. Weird thing to have a skin for, I think. Hey, Oberon, welcome on into stream. No, we're doing it with an open lobby with the group here. Welcome on into chat. My name is Ileana. I am your cozy vampire. And like you've probably seen, we are farming some under today. It's nice to have you here. What is the group? Uh, we currently have a Nidus, a Korra, a Hydroid, and a Necros. So, pretty much everything we want, actually. I need more energy, though. Ah, it's on cooldown still. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. I hope you're doing well today, Oberon. It's nice to meet you. Alright, so where are... There you are. Hmm. The one thing about this endo farm is even though it's efficient, it's pretty monotonous, honestly. I might do it like five more times after we rotate the group and then call it for now. This is like... This is pretty samey. Just stand in one place and kind of slash over and over again. Time to clock into work, Joker. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for dropping in. I hope you have a great work day, Joker. And Full Snare, thank you for the head pads. Welcome back to stream. <laughs> Hope you're doing fantastic today. Where even are all the enemies right now? There's one. Aha! You've been sucked into my strangle dome. Just the very idea of an ability being named Strangledome is so silly to me. I love it, though. It is done. Full Snare, you're doing okay? Myself? I'm doing great, thank you. Doing really wonderful. I'm really glad to be getting back to morning streams. It's been a minute since I've done a morning stream. Alright, we're going to rotate the lobby slightly here. Prime, if you're willing to step out so we can get Lucky Spirit in. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're at like 27,000 endo. Lucky Spirit, can you remind me what your username is in Warframe? Actually, I think it's just Lucky Spirit, isn't it? I think I remember that. Oh no, it, it is different. Okay. Lucky... 
can you message me in Warframe? Uh, so I can invite you that way, Lucky. Rice hot farming is going okay. We're farming Undo right now. How are you doing? Just send me a whisper, Lucky, to uh, to my username, which is Zicker Song. So it's not pop. It's not saying that your username is valid here. Unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Oh, there are two Ys. That's what it was. Gotcha. All right, we're good to go with Yam again. Ruffle, you might get Octavia because you like music. That's fair. She's kind of boring to play, unfortunately. Oberon, how much under did we make? We make about 2,500 per run, and a run takes like two minutes. So it's about a thousand endo per minute, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I don't know. Some people like Octavia, but I really do feel. I really do feel like Octavia is just kind of like turn your brain off. Like you don't really have to do anything on her except spam crouch. And shoot things, which is to me a little bit boring. Maybe not boring to everyone, but it's not how I would choose to play the game, personally. You know how it is. Alright, we're good to go. Just waiting on you, Lucky. I think we have a Nidus, a Korra, and a Necros still, so if you want to take, like, Hydrate, that would be fine. Or you can just switch to whatever you want. Play whatever you want if you don't have a Hydrate. Oh, right. Here we go. Let's do it. Strangle Dome. World's smallest Strangle Dome over here. I love it though. <laughs> this thing is great how tiny it is. All right. Have you ever done this Endo Farm before, Oberon? Yeah, flashbang. Don't do that to me. The nerve of you, over or not over on <laughs> Flashbanger. All right. Kill some of these guys. I love the tentacles. There's like nothing better in this world than tentacles, don't get me wrong. But Hydroid's tentacles that they like spring up out of the ground and just grab you is... Mwah, it's just such a chef's kiss moment. I love them. What, darling? Sorry, guys. I got distracted by something. Um. All right. Your problem is not endo, it's forma. Yeah, that makes sense. Forma's like the perpetual problem for people, it sounds like. Oh shit, I tied. All right. And when you search up Octavia Warframe on YouTube and the YouTuber immediately says she's boring. Uh, yeah, yeah, she is kind of boring. I gotta be real. Oberon, I want to be attacked by Hydroid. Absolutely. Yes, 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 I want to be attacked by Hydroid. Please. Hey, Sanity, welcome back to stream. Just buy 200 Forma bundles. Oh, God, that's so much money. That would be so much money. Holy moly. Alright, we only have three more kills to get. And we're done. Nice job, team. Very nice, very nice. Alright, I need to be right back for one second. Uh, it'll be just a minute, you all.
<laughs> all right i'm back sorry about that y'all here we go we are uh any tips maybe some, some zooms or range strength to get i'm not sure lucky are you playing hydroid i'm not really i'm not really sure unfortunately but dang we're making some good progress on this endo here i'm happy about this i'm very happy about this Kens, welcome back to stream. How's it going? I hope you're fantastic today. I hope you're absolutely fantastic today. All right, it's time to start leveling some of this stuff now. Oh, it's a lot of endo. That's a lot of endo. God damn it. I hate it. I hate it here. All right, I need 30,000 endo. All right, actually, let's go to 30, let's go to 31,000 endo. Once I've got 31,000 endo for, to max up my primed target cracker, then we can stop. That sounds good to me. All right, here we go. Kens, you're fine. How about me? I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm doing wonderful. It's, uh, we're farming endo today, which is... Not the most wonderful thing on earth, but that's okay. You know, we get through it. We absolutely get through it. You know what I'm really looking forward to is tomorrow's stream, actually, where we get to play some Magic the Gathering again. I really want a Sleeznia deck, unfortunately. I already ground all my Ayatid Relics into Endo Corgi, but we're earning about 2,500 Endo every three minutes. So it's not so bad right now. Good morning, Quirgy. How are you doing? But, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, the, um, I'm really, really looking forward to playing Magic tomorrow. I want a Sleeznia deck. Or maybe an Orzhov deck. But god, they're so exp- like, cards are so expensive, and I haven't ground them out yet. So I'd have to, like, I would have to buy, uh, I would have to buy some wild cards or packs or whatever if I wanted to actually build one of those for tomorrow. So, no dice. No dice. We'll wait. Am I sticking with black green? No, I actually don't really play black green very much. Um, Golgari is what black green is. I'm playing uh, Rakdos, which is black red right now in Arena. But I also want to try Sleeznia. Sleeznia looks fun this rotation. So does Or Orzov. Orzov's long been one of my favorites. Orzov is black white. Uh, Orzov is often all about life gain and everything, which is really fun. And maybe I can even make Gorian upset and say that I'm going to play Azorius. K9, I actually am. I'm running Rakdos Vampires. I'm running Black Red Vampires. It's great. I love it. I haven't played Magic in about a decade, a little more. The last set I played was Avacyn Restored, which was 2012. Um, 2012, but uh, we are uh, we are getting back into it now. Just a few days ago, I started getting back into Magic. Kobe, Kanubi, can we get a shout out for Kanubi, please? Everybody, Kanubi is one of my favorite streamers. Um, she is such a sweetheart. She streams lots of fighting games, lots of Elden Ring. She does some fun stuff like trying all sorts of French foods on stream and gagging at the bat cheese. Her stream is just incredible, and you should you should really go check her out. Um, I've probably watched more of her stream than almost anyone else's this month. She's just really entertaining and a really sweet person. How are you doing, Kobe? I hope you're well. And Sanity, you like my funny words. You've never played Magic? Yeah, all of the guild colors and stuff in Magic are named different things. There's like 25 different names. I don't know them all, actually. I used to, but I've forgotten them at this point. I'm too kind? No, I'm exactly as kind as you deserve. Exactly as kind as you deserve, Kobe. And so we learn the importance of clarity and purpose. Actually, 
Actually, now that we got a Kobe in this stream, Kobe gets a little gem because Kobe is a gem. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. All right. The, um, but yeah, I hope things have been going really well for you, Kobe. Maski, you play uh, Golgari Gitrong and Black, Blue, Black, White Zombies. That's Demir, right? I think Blue, Black, White is Demir. Like I said, it's been so long since I've played Magic that I kind of forget what all of the things are named. But that's okay. Let me Google, actually. Hold on. Demir. Demir is... Oh, no. Demir is just blue, black. What is blue, black, white? Hold on. Blue, black, white. MTG. All right, blue. Wait, hold on. Ow, what the heck? Ow, Cringy, thank you for the bits. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi, hi, thank you so much for the bits. You're very sweet. Does blue, black, white not have a name? Oh no, it does, Esper, it's Esper. That's right, Esper. Blue, black, white is Esper. Yeah, I love MTG. It's such a fun game. It's such a fun game. And Corgi, I'm really glad to hear you're doing great. Is there a one of everything name? No, that's just called five color. The four colors people just call like no blue or no black or whatever. And then the five color is just called five color. Nobody really plays five color though. In the past, there have been like five color sliver decks, but I don't think they're super common anymore. <laughs> Wubger is what you call five color. I love that actually. That's pretty funny. Wubger. Kenji, you're about to sleep. Good night to you. I hope you sleep super well. Bant is one of my favorite three color combos. Esper and Bant are my two favorite. White, green, blue, and blue, black. Uh, white can you guys tell i like blue because i do <laughs> i'm a scumbag blue player they are commander runs five color slivers oh okay i don't play commander i've always been a standard player oh yeah five color niv mizzet i forgot about niv mizzet yeah God, I think I pushed Niv Mizzet decks out of my memory intentionally. Fuck Niv Mizzet, honestly. That fucking got Karin. Masky, you play Commander so you don't need to cycle your cards out as often. Yeah, Commander's definitely cheaper, at least after the uptake. I just, I don't know, I really like the standard format. I always have. You're working on a Golgari fungi deck just because they're a bunch of fun guys. <laughs> I love that for you. I love that for you. All right, so let's go over here. We need a no white food deck. There's um, there's a uh, a meta deck right now called Simic Cookies, which is blue green all the cookie monsters. Essentially. Knucklehead, welcome back to stream. How are you doing? Hope you're absolutely fantastic today. Okay, dang, we're getting this done real quick. K9, you're kind of crushing it here. We can call it Grubhub. Oh my gosh. The Grubhub deck. Hell yeah. We're at 18,000 endo right now. We need 31,000. And Knucklehead, you're doing great just on your lunch break. Nice. How's work going for you today? Hopefully good. Oh man, sorry, I had to stretch for a second. It's still the morning. It is still definitely the morning, you all. But nah, that's okay. 
All right. I think we need probably four to five more runs. One of the two. Kuva Brahma go boom. Kuva Brahma does go boom. It's true. Knucklehead. Work is always stressful, but you like being able to help people. If I may ask, what do you do? That's, um, I'm really happy that you get to help people, though. Whatever it may be. And don't answer if you don't feel comfortable, of course. Maybe I should be using my Nataruk more. I need to try to beat K9 and kills one of these rounds. Show her who's boss. I don't know where all the enemies are right now, though. <laughs> I guess I don't need to be standing in my strangle, though, and that could help. Sanji, welcome back to stream. How are you doing? Prime time. You say that about customer service until you get an irate customer. Oh, I bet. I bet. Customer service is really hard. Where are we farming Endo? We're on Yam, the Yam mission on uh, Sedna. I found like an Endo farming guide on Reddit that we're following. Pretty much to a T, I think. They say you can get 4,000 Endo a run. We're not doing quite that much, so we're doing something wrong. But we're beginners, so that's okay. Daniel, I think I'm an irate as an angry customer. Sanji, you can come to all of my streams this week? Heck yeah, that's awesome. Nice. Oh no, I'm really falling behind K9. Maybe I shouldn't use my Nadara. Nikaru, welcome back to stream. And Knucklehead, you do administrative work for the government. Gotcha. I've actually made a decision, by the way. I plan to, uh... I plan to decline that job offer. Um... If they do offer me the job, I'm gonna decline it. Because I don't think it's worth dealing with that bad boss. I know that boss would not jive with me, and... My mental health is more important, I think, personally. My mental health is definitely, definitely more important. So, that's that. I'm still thinking maybe I'm going to get a serving job. I think I'd really like working in a restaurant, actually. And it would be a good way to earn some extra cash on the side. But, uh... Yeah. Zirel, a bad job needs a lot to be worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome back in, Zirel. How are you doing today? Oh, victory. K9 crushed me there. This is a lot, a lot of work covering up murdering your boss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so true. So true. Zirel, another day working right now. Nice, nice. Just another day. I, I get that, honestly. <laughs> Canine, woof, woof. Are you... I, I see that you're woofing, but why aren't you barking for me, Canine? That's my question. Lucky Spirit, by the way, my favorite. Thank you so much for doing so well in a farming Masenda with me. Joey, you far prefer retail to food service. That's understandable. That's very understandable. I... I like food service. I've worked in food service before. I really actually enjoy it. I've actually never worked in retail. Sanji, thank you for the care package. Everyone, take a sip of whatever you're drinking and sit up straight, please. Good girl, K9. All right, so we just need about 10,000 more endo. That's four to five runs here. Oh, I didn't mean to force start. I'm sorry. My bad. Zarel, you only have moisturizer on hand. Can you drink that? Um, I don't recommend it, personally. Don't recommend it. <laughs> you can drink anything once. Just truer words have never been spoken. Why do you have moisturizer, but not water with you? Just out of curiosity here. 
I'm very curious. Very, very curious here. But maybe I shouldn't ask questions. You usually drink cold water, so that's in the kitchen. Okay, that's understandable. I get that then. Oh. <laughs> I love how my body just ragdolls so hard in this mission. Because you don't have to uh, go down and get revived. Hey, another metric song. God, I love metric. This band is just so good, you all. This band is so, so good. More enemies. Coming on in. Oh, there's Endo over here. Cool. Hey, where'd everyone go? I need help. Oh no, I'm flashbanged. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> everyone just like disappeared all of a sudden and I got scared. So scary. So scary. I really need a Koopa Grandma. Oh my god. That thing looks fun, K9. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the Nadara, but... The explosive bow, Kuva Brahma, just looks so enjoyable to use. Oh shit, not again. Ow. Whoopsie daisy. What do you all like drinking, actually? Out of curiosity. What's your favorite thing to drink on a normal day? Victory! Nice work, team. Nice work, nice work. Your will was greater. This is good. No, not cook with grandma. Kuva Brahma. Sorry. Brahma, not Brahma. K9, Daniel, you both drink water. I drink water too. I drink almost nothing but water and blood, of course. Knucklehead, you like kombucha? Um Kool-Aid diet spray crisp water or fruit juice. Nice, nice. Brahma's fun, but low ammo. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks, sons. You have a Baja, Baja Blast right now. <laughs> I've never had Baja Blast. I'm actually, I have a very bad reaction to caffeine. So I can't really, uh... I can't really drink energy drinks or anything with caffeine in it, unfortunately. But, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. Baja Blast has caffeine? I assume it does. Yeah, 54 milligrams of caffeine. I mean, it's Mountain Dew, so I assume it does. And turns out I was right. No dying inside the Strangle Dome. I mean, can I strangle you inside the Strangle Dome, Lucky Spirit? You are my favorite right now, after all. You have a bad history with caffeine. Your heart rate hit almost 180 over 90. Oh my god. I just get migraines. I get migraines when I drink caffeine, unfortunately. But yeah, 180 over 90 is insane blood pressure. I'm glad you're okay, actually. That's, that's awful. That sounds like hospitalization level. Although I'm not a doctor, so I guess I don't know for sure. Happen. Welcome back to stream. How's it going, my friend? You doing well today? Oh my god, what is that emote? That thing is beautiful. Cosmic, welcome back to stream. I'm streaming very early. I know. So starting today, we are testing a new stream schedule, which is going to be 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern every day monday through friday we're gonna see how it goes it's nice to have you here yeah metric is such a good band they're one of my favorites i love metric and i'm glad to hear you're doing fine captain good good your will 
Hey, I did better that time, even though K9 still crushed me. Cosmic, you don't mind because you get to watch when you get home. Mm hmm, for sure. And Cap'n, you can finally catch a stream. Nice. And it's K9. It's four explosive shots that all do like 50,000 damage and viral. Dang, that's impressive. That's really nice. All right. How am I anyway? I'm good. I'm good. I'm having a fun time. I'm really glad that I'm going to be trying morning streams again, honestly. Like, I'm excited to see how they go because this, this year in January, I streamed pretty much exclusively in the morning. And uh, that was some of the most fun I've ever had while streaming. I only stopped because I burned out really hard on Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. I need to. Oh shit. I need to. Uh, I need to play different games, but I think playing them at this time is a good call for me and my channel, honestly. I've never had higher viewership than when I stream in the mornings. At least in January, that was true. I don't know if it's true today, but. We'll find out. And I have to ease myself back into it too, of course. Knight is here making his grabby hands and pulling in the enemies. Does Knight is pull? That's fun. I like that. You recommend trying to get the Brahma, but it's a pain because of Kuva bosses. Yeah, I need to, I've only done one Lich ever. I need to do some more though. I also want the nuclear, the Kuva nuclear. That one sounds really fun too. I think I'll go for the Brahma and then I'll go for the nuclear. Oh, that's Nidus's whole role is just to pull them into the Strangle Dome. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. You have a Lich that you can't seem to beat? Ooh, I bet we could get some people from the community to help you if you want, Masky. Right now it's the beginning of American and end of uh, European workday. Yeah, yeah, and nighttime in Asia, in Australia. Totally, totally. A lot of people, I think a lot of people like, uh, we're getting about 2,500 per run cosmic and a run takes like three minutes probably. So it's pretty efficient here. I think a lot of people like putting me on at work when I stream in the mornings, like I'm good background noise. That's one thing that I know about myself as a streamer is people find my, my voice really soothing. So people find my voice really, really soothing. So I, uh, I think people put me on in the background a lot. Like, even if they're not active in chat or anything, they're listening and being soothed by the dulcet tones of Liliana Iker's song. So, yeah. It is really nice when you're farming on Warframe. Mm-hmm. Cyril, personally, you don't watch me for the Warframe gameplay because half the time you can't even tell it's happening. That is very understandable. It's why I stream other games too. I mean, I love Warframe, but there are other th fun things I like too. Prime time, stop what? Out of curiosity. And lucky spirit, you definitely do. That's why you're the goodest boy. Masky, people love your voice so much that they throw bricks through your window to hear your singing better. Oh no. I, uh, I can't sing. Just to be clear, I cannot sing at all. Like, I can, I have a really soothing speaking voice, but no. Warframe is still fine as more of a background game. Agreed, Sorrel. Agreed. It's a good game to turn your brain off to. And Nacho, good morning. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing really well. 
You want me to stop the soothing voice? I mean, I'm not doing the soothing voice intentionally. It's just kind of how I sound, right? So it's kind of hard for me to stop it. Serious, welcome back to stream. The resident lurker confirms. I can't sing, but can I rap? Absolutely not. I bet I could learn to rap, honestly. Not amazingly, but I bet I could learn okay to rap. Because, uh, I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty good with my words and good with my tongue and everything. So, the, um, don't take that the wrong way, by the way. So, like, I bet I could learn to rap, but I haven't ever really tried. <laughs> Sorry, Prime, I just didn't get it. I Whenever people, like, make jokes about things I say, half the time I've forgotten what I said by, by the time they say it. So, sometimes it flies right over my head. I am good with my tongue. You want to you wanna see me? <laughs> no, it's true though. It is actually true. Or so I've been told. All right, here we go. Stop it. You can't make me. Oh shit. I can do Zenerek. There we go. Zenerek's down. I love the Kuva Brahma just like destroying everything here. It's so much fun to see the big explosions and all of the K9 killed, K9 killed, K9 killed at the bottom of the screen. It's great. Ah, flashbang. All right. I need to put down another Shingle Dome, we've seen. Oh, Clement, you don't like your voice. I didn't ever used to. I actually talked about this a lot in the Hot Ones interview. Uh, the VOD of that is actually now on YouTube, for anyone who missed it. But, uh... Yeah. I didn't used to ever like my voice either. Um, I was bullied a lot for not ever being a good singer in high school. But I do now, and I'm really happy about that. Really, really glad about that. Your will was greater. This is good. All right. I think that that's all we need to do for endo farming, because let me just check. Let me just check here. I think that's enough to upgrade my other... Yeah, it is. Nice. Thank you guys so much for endo farming with me today. I mean, there's always more endo farming to do, right? But I'm going to stop for right now. Just because this is... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. What do you mean? Would exceed capacity of burst laser. Oh, I don't care about that. Cool. There we go. Nice. That is a maxed out primed mod. My first one ever, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop for right now with the endo farming just because it's kind of mind numbing, admittedly. But that's okay. We will. Uh... That's okay, I think. K9 wasn't a drummer, just a violent person who found some sticks. Yeah, that checks out. That checks out. Alright, so let me uh go back to Wisp Prime here, and then back to weapons that I actually need to level. What's next? Uh, what's next is let's do some Much as I don't really want to, let's do some more Oricon Vaults, because I still need some Oricon Vault items, if that's okay with everyone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw us into some more Oricon Vaults. 
Um, wait, I already have that one. There you go. Cool. <laughs> or it can don't do your vaults. Oh, sorry. I didn't get consent for your vaults. I will not do your vaults. My bad. My bad. Oh, I also need to form a, the Torrid as well. Oh, wait, it's already formed. It's already formed. Cool, cool. If you do want to leave the lobby, if you don't want to do Oracle Vaults, no problem. I totally understand. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm about to queue us up for it. How many formats do I have in the Torrid right now, actually? I think I have three in it. Yeah, three. So I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. We want to do Hepit for the Oracle Vaults, right? I think it's Hepit, because it's the capture mission. And K9, you, you're going to do a few before you have to go? Yeah, take your time. Oh, you want a Horrend. Horrend. Oh, right, because it's Deimos. Sorry, it's Deimos, not, not the Void. Duh. Um, but K9, whenever you do need to go, of course, please feel free to get off to class and everything. It's important stuff. Um, when you hear a recording of your voice, you don't even recognize yourself. It's weird. I think a lot of people feel that way. I think a lot of people feel that way, honestly. Have I talked to a friend about becoming my Van Helsing yet? <laughs> no, unfortunately. But that would be cool. I need to find myself a, uh... I need to find myself a, uh... Like a vampire hunter VTuber. We could become frenemies. Now you might be one and lovers. What's now. a vault give? Uh, special mods that You're only right. come out of work in vaults. Lucky Spirit. Like Heavy Caliber, Vile Acceleration, and Transient Fortitude are the three that I'm looking for personally. We can also t kill a Tusk Thumper at some point today. Yeah, this is the one that needs keys. I've got all the keys on me, so don't worry if you don't have any keys yourself. I have five of every key. Tusk Thumpers are fun. They are. They are. I can probably finish Nightwave this week if I do, uh... If I do some, uh... Extra... Uh, what am I trying to say? extra like recovered missions like the Duveri puzzles and everything surgical welcome back to stream how are you doing masky we are gonna do vaults i'll invite you in as soon as we have a slot for it and yeah they're known as corrupted mods that's right tusk something was your favorite chumble wumba song <laughs> chumble wumba dude i forgot about chumble wumba it's a good band honestly a silly band but a good one you are here to find our target and bring them to the extraction point. Happy hunting. Alright. Capture them quickly before they escape. Yeah, tub something. Such a such a goofy song, honestly. But it is, it's really enjoyable. Like it's just fun to listen to, you know? I think it is anyway. All right. If you find the vault and don't have a key yourself, just ping it, make a waypoint, and I'll I'll go open it. Or you can open it yourself if you have a key, obviously. They look like a door. For those of you that don't know, they look like a door with like four runes and a semicircle. I'll look near the exit. Hmm. Let's not die though, Liliana. Come on. Oh, so we found a time trial. Nice. <laughs> oh, door. Oh, door, Ray. Okay, not over here. Also, Surgical, you've been radio silent for three months because of boot camp. Oh my gosh. How was boot camp for you? Are you done? I hope you're done. That doesn't sound like a pleasant experience, to put it lightly. Oh, 
Alrighty, there we are. I don't think it's near the exit, so I'm gonna come back and look for it in this main room. And also, if we can't find it within like three minutes, we can just reset and go again. You've still got more training. You've just been on leave for a few days. Oh man, good luck, Surgical. I hope you've been enjoying your time at least. As much as it's possible to enjoy boot camp at least. You know? I hope that for you. Not over here. Hmm, where were you? Where are you? If I were a vault, where would I be? That is the question. This door doesn't open. You gotta report back to base tomorrow, but you've been enjoying your time with your lover. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm glad. And Raging Zelda, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? Hopefully super duper good. No, this is the time trial area. It's not going to be over here. Friends are precious and something you should love as a second family. I agree. I completely agree. It's true. You know, it's funny. I actually read an article. This was several years ago. But it really stuck with me. It still has it still sticks with me to this day. Talking about like friend breakups and how the author, at least, a psychologist, didn't think that we took friend breakups, quote unquote, seriously enough. Because they can be real and really impactful. Nice, whoever found it. Good job. And really impactful in ways that uh don't um aren't really any different than breaking up with a romantic partner or anything like that. And those are real. And those are real loss for people when you lose a friend, a close friend especially. And it could be very difficult. And I agree with that sentiment. Coppin agrees too, apparently. Yeah. I've lost many friends in my days. I used to not be a very good person, if I'm just going to be completely honest with y'all. And I deserved to lose all my friends, like, several times over. And then sometimes I've lost friends that I didn't deserve to lose either. But, you know, I'm really glad that I finally started making friends that I can... That I'm proud to say I have had for many years now and can stay with and everything. See you later, Zelda. Thanks for stopping in. No, not a vile precision. I want a vile acceleration. Gosh darn it. Nice job stiffing out the vault though, canine. Well done, well done. And welcome back, Ruffle. Sorry your iPad died over there. Alright, mission repeat. Let's go. Hmm. Right, we have a vile mod at home. Yeah, the vile mod at home, right? I know. It sucks. Super sucks. Oh well, it's fine. I think that once I get vile acceleration, I'm ready for it to make my whole torrid build. I'll just need to do the, uh... I'll just need to do the, um... What am I trying to say? The formas. So that'll be good. I wish there were, like, a way to actually figure out where the vault is. Like, uh, any sort of hint at all. You are here to we'll see, we'll see. And bring them to the extraction point. Happy hunting. Canine's already done going down that way. Oh, wow. Canine is really sniffing out the vaults. Jeez. Well done, canine. Very nice work. Hi, Sloth. Welcome on into stream. It's been a minute. I hope you're doing well today. That would be great. I know. Looking for the vaults is like, it's so painful, dude. It's so painful. Oh, no. Ah. 
Haha. <laughs> Oof. Hey, sarcastically logical. Welcome on into stream. Never enough endo. I know. We farmed about 50,000 under today, and I immediately spent it all. And now I'm back at zero. But right now, we're taking a short break from farming endo to do uh, corrupted mod farming. My name is Liliana. I'm your cozy vampire, and it is very nice to have you here. Level 9 mods hurt. They do. I just maxed out a primed uh, a prime mod today, and it killed about an hour's worth of endo farming, unfortunately. But, you know, we get through it. That is so much endo farming. It took us about an hour. I found a guide on how to farm about 2,500 endo per every three minutes. So it went pretty well. Can endo cap? I don't believe so. I might be wrong, but I don't think you can cap on endo. It cannot. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't think credits can cap either. I mean, at some point they're going to cap just like in the programming, but probably at a at a level that people can't even possibly reach. Oh, credits do cap. Interesting. Really? Is it like a programming thing or is it actually like a hard cap somewhere? Shadow Master, welcome back to stream. Yes, we just finished endo farming, actually. We are taking a short break to farm corrupted mods, but we might go back to endo farming before the end of the day. It's 9,000. Oh, it's 1 billion credits. Gotcha. It's 1 billion credits. Shadow Master, you haven't played Warframe in months. Really? Why not? Just kind of felt burnt out on the game or something. Lucky Spirit. Maybe it's the same as credits, but that's several lifetimes worth of endo. Mm-hmm. Good luck on getting any specific mods. Yes, I am after three specific ones. I want Vile Acceleration, Transient Fortitude, and Heavy Caliber. It's, uh... It's pretty boring. You're right, sarcastically. And uh, vault farming is not my favorite part of this game. But it needs to get done at some point, so here we are. Unfortunately. Oh! K9 beat me to the vault. I found it, but K9 beat me there just a split second. I'll be right back, you all. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. You have the vault artifact. Let's go. Like Alright, I'm back, you all. You think you have a heavy caliber that you could trade once you're done with the download? I'll think about it, but at the very least, at the very least, I want to pay you for it. Like, whatever the rate on Warframe Market is. Because I don't want I don't want people to just give me that stuff for free. Clement, the last time you played Warframe was March of last year. Oh man, it's been a minute for you. That's a year ago. Sarcastically, if you were home, you wouldn't be against trading one. That's very sweet of you. A transient fortitude. That's very sweet of you. Change the clip. We already have you. Dang it. The upside of going for three different mods is I have a better chance of getting the one I'm looking for. That's true. That's very true. And Lucky Spirit, you have several extra heavy calibers, but not Vile Acceleration. Yeah. Vile Acceleration is the one I actually really need, because uh, I need it for my Torrid build. That's okay, though. It's fine. We'll get it eventually. I might just trade for it if we don't get it within a few days. Oh, right. Here we go. Also, you have a Kuva Ogress also. You just format it. Nice. And Amon, welcome back to the stream. It's been a minute. I hope life has been treating you well. Has the vault been in the exact same place three runs in a row? That is so lucky. Happy about that, though. Means we don't need to spend all this time looking. Bring them in. 
Amon, you're good, and thanks for asking. I'm so glad to hear. And you're checking your mods right now to find the one I'm looking for. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. And don't forget to do the alerts. Yeah, I try to do the alerts whenever I can. Sometimes I do forget, though. I'm kind of a forgetful person, unfortunately. It's the ADHD. I'm quirky. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. I'm even worse. <laughs> when it comes to my memory, at least. Oh, right. Intact. Welcome back to stream. How's it going? I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic today. But yeah, I only started playing in, uh... I only started playing in, uh, August. And I took a few months off, too, because I went really hard in August and burned myself out. But, uh... That's okay. Yeah, I'm looking for Vile Acceleration. I'm looking for Transient Fortitude. And I'm looking for uh, Heavy Caliber. Can we get my Glyph? I don't have a Glyph. I am not a Warframe content creator. Um, I've never been invited to the program, so no Glyph for me, unfortunately. Maybe someday, but at the moment, I don't have a Glyph. You know, it'd be cool to have a glyph. It would be cool to be a Warframe content creator, but uh, we received intel that somebody if it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's kind of my stance toward it, you know. We'll see. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they Lucky Spirit, you have a vile acceleration. Surgical has two heavy calibers. Oh my gosh. I will pay you guys whatever the going rate on Warframe market is for those. Don't just give them to me for free. Um, but yeah, I kind of hate corrupted mod farming, like, a lot, so if you want to trade them to me and get some platinum in return, then fuck, I don't mind. <laughs> hey, Al, what if you have, like, 12 spares? I mean, if you really insist that I don't pay you, then sure, but nonetheless, welcome on into stream. My name's Ileana. We're farming some corrupted mods today, and it's really nice to meet you. I curse a bunch depending on my mood, Masky. It really does depend on my mood, though. The, um, oh, I'm also looking for rhyme rounds, by the way. I forget where you get rhyme rounds. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's spy missions. That's why I put it on my list of things to farm. I literally put that I'm just going to trade for rhyme rounds because I hate spy missions, you guys. I hate them. All the point. Gosh, darn it. All right, so we can trade for vile acceleration. We can trade for heavy caliber. Surgical, can you remind me what your username is? I actually like Railjack. I'm weird. I like Railjack. But yeah, we're going to stop farming the Oricon Vaults right now. I do like Railjack. It's fun. I legitimately think it's fun. All right, so let's go to um, the dojo. I'll trade you trade with you, Lucky. Somebody said that all of the corrupted mods are like 10 platinum, so... Actually, I need to farm internal bleeding from Veil Proxima B Rotation by Frost Echo. So we'll do, uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do some Railjack after this. Why not? You know, why not? We'll do some Railjack right now. It'll probably be pretty fast because I just need one mod from Railjack, but that's okay. Trade request, ma. Oh, wait, hold on. I want platinum instead. 10. Oh, gotcha. Sounds good, Surgical. Could I actually ask you, Surgical, to uh, send me a message? I think that might make it a little bit easier. If you send me a message in Warframe, then uh, I can invite you from the message window. Thank you so much, Lucky. Thank you, thank you. And I'm going to leave the squad, too, so I can invite Surgical here as well. I can try inviting you, though. 
Oh, that actually worked. Okay. I didn't think that was gonna work. Cool. And then just come on into the dojo once you're ready, surgical. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. The, um... What was I going to say? So, yeah, we're going to do, uh... We're going to do... Um... Bifrost Echo on Veil Proxima after this. Actually, are we? Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That was fast. You're always happy to help out with fellow Tenno. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Lucky, it's nice that I insist on paying, even though you know you glad even though I know you would gladly give me a freebie. I mean, here's the thing, right? I just I don't want people to just give me shit for free. Like, I know they would, but I care about... Oh no, you don't have 2FA. Uh-oh. I care about, like, uh, doing things the right way, quote-unquote, you know? And I think that matters. I really think that matters. You just saw my platinum number. It's all personal platinum, at least for the most part. Um, because uh, I went to TwitchCon last year and I went to the Warframe event at TwitchCon. And somehow I, I was the person that won the grand prize in the raffle, which was 100,000 personal, personal platinum. Got really lucky there. Bye bye, Sanji. We'll see you later. We will see you later. Crimson, good morning. How are you doing? I'm just pretty much like, I'm just pretty much like spending it all on like Forma. Like it's nice in some ways because it means I never need to buy Forma or slots or farm for Forma. I can just always, if I need another slot, just boom, buy it with Platinum. If I need another Forma, boom, buy it with Platinum. But I don't want to spend it on like base frames or whatever. Because I feel like if I did that, I would remove so much point of, like, playing the game. Because so much of playing this game is just grinding. And, like, saying, hey, I want this frame, and then going and getting it, you know? Oh, yeah, and potatoes. I also get potatoes with the personal platinum, too. Surgical, how do you enable 2FA? I don't know. It's somewhere on the Warframe's website. It's uh, it's on the Warframe official website if you like log into your account, I'm pretty sure. Masky, you bought all the pain in the ass base frames. That's fair. I might, because I do want to collect every frame, I might buy a second citrine with platinum. Just because, guys, I've already farmed one citrine. I never want to do that again. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> But, yeah. It's okay, Surgical. I really appreciate you trying. I can get the, uh, I can get that mod from Trade later. Thank you so much, Surgical. I really appreciate it. Alright, so... We now have Vile Acceleration. Fantastic. We are gonna do... Actually, let's do some Nightwave. Is it daytime on Lanes of Eidolon? It is. We have 10 minutes to find a Tusk Plumper. So let me invite everybody from the lobby back in, except K9. I'm gonna... I know you need to leave soon, so I'm gonna invite Maskey in instead. Um, if that's cool with you, just so we can get everyone in. And Knucklehead, back to work for you. Goodbye, Knuckle. We'll see you later. Have a good work day, okay? Can you remind me what your name is, Maskey? Thanks for playing, K9. I really appreciate it. You need to do some relic farming for a new prime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were relic farming on stream two days ago. I think it was two days ago. Operator, are you enjoying the view? Operator, are you enjoying the view? I am. Drifter camp is actually really pretty. 
So yes, I think I am. Oh, right. Um, Sting like a nuke. That's right. That's right. I forgot about that one. It's such a good name, though. I know you say your brother gave you the name, and that's fine. But I actually like the name. It's 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 cool. All right, Tusk Thumpin. Have I ever played uh, Destiny Two? Unfortunately, uh, my new player experience with Destiny Two was. I hate it. <laughs> like, I tried playing it about six months ago, probably, right? The new player experience was atrocious. I believe, I believe people when they say that, like, that game gets good later. But I do not, I do not like the new player experience. It was an awful experience, actually. Destiny also just doesn't have enough content outside of PvP, in your opinion? Yeah, yeah. For me, it was like, it threw me into the middle of a story with no context, but it also didn't make me care about that story. Like, it wasn't even, like, in Medias Race. You can bring any any frame spirit. We're just good at killing a Tusk Thumper. Like, it... It wasn't even in Medias Race. It just, like fucking sucked. It was like, there's so much story that I was supposed to know, but I didn't. And the gun, the one thing I say Destiny has going for it, the gunplay feels really good. I'll give them that much. The gunplay in Destiny felt really, really good. Everything else about it, I did not like. All right, so Joey says we need to queue up a high bounty. I forgot to take my dragon keys off, so this is going to suck. <laughs> Whoopsie. So I think we just need to find the Tusk Bumper, right? Now that we have a high bounty here. Destiny 2 is a mess. It sucks because the gameplay is really fun. And stuff like raids are enjoyable. But it really feels like the... I don't know who I am. Don't know why I'm here. I'm just here to kill. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And like, I really like the concept of raids in an FPS. I am, I've, I'm a lifelong World of Warcraft player. Raiding is my jam. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I did not mean to summon my Necromech there. But yeah, I don't care for Destiny at all, honestly. Just don't care for it at all. Aren't the Tusk Clumpers, like, don't they spawn in a certain area, I think? Oh, Surgical, you did the 2FA. Awesome. <laughs> well, after we're done with this, I can trade. After we're done with this lobby, if you're still around, I can trade, yeah? And if not, no worries. I also really do hate that Destiny Sunset's content. I agree. I hate that about Destiny. Like, you can pay a pretty good chunk of change for an expansion only for destiny to completely remove it from the game a couple years later why that's so stupid don't do that i almost refuse to play destiny just on principle because of that don't you have to be like close to the ground for the tusk thumper to spawn i believe Yeah, Cap'n, right? I know. That's actually, I'm pretty sure, Cap'n, that as a new player to Destiny 2, that is the experience, that the moment that I decided to not play the game anymore and checked out for the rest of the stream. When the, the quest, the quest just like spoiled the death of a character in flavor text, and that was it. Just freaking dialogue. There is like, hey, this major character that you're going to get to know and love in, when you go back and do these older quests. Oh, yeah, he's dead now. Hey, I found it. Tusk Thumper Doma. Ow. Ow, stop it. I have like, I forgot that I have my dragon keys on still, so I have like 90 HP here. This is going to kind of suck. 
Thank you for the care package, Saros. Everyone, please take a sip of whatever you're drinking and sit up straight. That was the point when you were done too, Coppin, yeah. Hey, Original, thank you so much for uh, stopping on in. How's it going? It's been a moment. But I hope you're doing fantastic. Alrighty. Wow, this thing does not take damage. Holy moly. You can only play Destiny when you're playing with your dad. You just don't want to at any other time. Mm hmm for sure. And, like, don't get me wrong. It looks really fun to, uh... Do the raids, to do all the other ja jazz around the raids. The PvP, I've heard it's pretty unbalanced, but it still is probably enjoyable. I just can't make myself get there. I just cannot make myself get there in Destiny. Surgical, you're available to help out if we need you. Sounds good. We'll get you in as soon as somebody ends up leaving. Or in a little while, if nobody does. Thank you for that, Surgical. Really nice to have you back here again, by the way. It's nice seeing you. Oh my god, get over here, please. Stop it. There we go. Good job, team. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, while we're here, I actually need to get some stuff off of the Plains of Eidolon. Hold on. I need to get 18 Kuwaka Spinal Claws and 23 Konjac Wings. I don't know where those things spawn, though, is the only problem here. A uh, Konjac Wing Farm. They spawn in groups of two to four on the plains. Okay, so... I want to... Fly between twin horns and have fun and don't leech. Okay. So I'm already actually kind of between those two. So I just need to find some Kondraks. Um, hey Jake, welcome back to the stream. The biggest part of the remove content that you don't like is the fact that they removed raids. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in World of Warcraft, people say like, oh, it's not any different than WoW, but it is because in World of Warcraft, sure, nobody does the old raids anymore, but you can, they're still there. You can still go experience them. You can still go solo them if you want the items from them. Like, they're there. They exist. They weren't removed, you know? Not so in Destiny 2. Not so, not so in Destiny 2. And that bothers me immensely. Ray, you used to like Destiny 2. Uh, years ago, it was fun with friends. You're going to try back getting back into it with some people, but it would have cost $160 to get all the expansions for current content. Yeah, that's another thing. That's just obscene. That's gross. Yeah, removing endgame content is always a mistake in your opinion. I'm of the I'm of the uh Oh you can see animals with a trank gun. Oh I didn't know that was a thing. I'm of the opinion that it's not only a that it's actually a mistake to remove content, even if it's not endgame, in 99% of the situations. Not a hundred percent. Like for example, I think that cataclysm in World of Warcraft was a good decision, but generally, if you're removing content, I think you need to be really fucking careful about it. Not doing what Destiny did. And their excuse was just like, oh, the game file got too big. I mean, sure, that is a concern. Games are too big these days, and Destiny's no exception. But solve it some other way. Don't be lazy and just remove the content, you know? Jake, we'll see you later. Good luck at work. Or, good luck in bed, I guess. I was gonna say work, but 
No, I just sound weird. I'm a Wisp queen. I like Wisp and I like Dagath. Both of them are so much fun. <laughs> Train Master, welcome back to stream. How's it going? Good luck in bed. Yeah, that's what I have to say to people before uh, before they take my clothes off. So I don't actually know where the hell the contracts are. Do they only spawn at certain times? Oh, we could do echo lures for them. We could do echo lures for them. Actually, let's do that. Let's go back to... Uh... Oh, wait. Hold on. Are these contacts? No. Yeah, let's go back into town. Let's get echo lures for the things that I'm looking for. That's an easier way of doing this. Oh, you found a masky? Where are they? I'm on my way. Ruffle, should you give Valorant a try again? I really like Valorant. It's fun. They're in the air. Where? I don't see him. Daniel, thank you for the lurk. We'll see you later. You have a good one, okay? Oh, it looks like Joey is echo luring something too. So say so? Yeah, no, I'm so say so. I am the most say so streamer to ever exist on Twitch. Trust me. Trust. Trust. <laughs> hey, Ace, welcome on into stream. How's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Wait, what is this? I'm not sure what the heck this thing is. I just need these for Grendel. I need these to craft normal Grendel. I need the, the wings, and I also need the uh, Kuwaka Spinal Claws, too. Yeah, I kind of want to go back in. I kind of want to go to extraction so we can get some echo lures for these two monsters or these two creatures. Oh, Sting found them though. Hold on. Sting found some of them. Wait, Surgical, what do the sirens mean? I actually don't know what the sirens mean. Oh, I just got Spinal Claws. Hey, look at that. Somebody killed one. Yeah, I'm the most pure and innocent VTuber to ever exist. This is a true fact. Wait, do I have to capture them or do I have to kill them? Which one should I do? Oh, the siren warns you about the Eidolon. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm gonna take a gamble and say I collect... No. I don't think collecting... They're easier to kill when they're asleep. Well, we're gonna kill them. It's fine. Actually, we can't. They're invincible right now, so... We'll grab them. Cool. Once they're capturable, you can't kill them. Got it. Okay. Cryotic, welcome back to stream. I have to kill them. Okay. I have to kill them. Good to know. Good to know. Those little fellows look almost cute. I think they were kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, no, Masky. It's just fine. Don't you worry. Intact. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for dropping by the stream. You take care of yourself, okay? And have a very good one. Hmm. Let me also look up Kuaka Spinal Claw. Where do these things actually, like, spawn? Um... Back. I advise falling back. They are just on the surface. Okay, so we just have to look around closely, apparently. That's fine. Find him eventually. What are you? Oh, you're a Kabat. 
Oh, wait, we can scan Kavats, can't we? For, like, genetic code and stuff, I think. I think that's how it works. You have a good one intact? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. You're saying that intact has... Or you're wishing intact a good one. I see what you're saying. I thought you were saying you had a good... <laughs> one of the things I was looking for that hadn't been killed. <laughs> I understand now. I understand. Hmm. You know what? This is not very good stream content. We can switch a little bit. Oh, you want to show up? Yeah, I'll take a look at your uh, your fashion as soon as I'm in a place where it lets me do that surgical. Thank you. I hope you have fun with whatever else you're doing. These things aren't easy to find, that's for sure. No, Captain, that makes a ton of sense. I was just... Uh, I just misinterpreted your message is all. That's that's all. These buggers aren't easy to find though, that's for sure. That is for sure. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Do they, do they get highlighted in red like all the enemies do? I think they probably should. Oh wait, oh these are just bombs. Never mind. I got so excited there for a second. I saw small little red things on the ground. Ah, here they are. Quaka. Got a bunch of spinal claws right there. How many did we just get? 18 of them. That's actually exactly as many as I needed. And we also need 23 Kondrak wings, which I don't have any of this run so far. You found a wing at your way, please? Awesome. Thank you, Joey. On my way. On my way. What? Oh, wait. This wasn't your waypoint. Shoot. This is your waypoint over here. Sarcastically, it's always nice when the exact number drops. Absolutely, yeah. Very, very nice. How long do the day-night cycles actually last on uh, Earth? I don't guess I don't know, like in terms of real world time. Oh my goodness, they were way over there. Holy moly. Where's the wing? There we are. Two of them. Cool. Al, it's about every hour. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Hmm. So are the are the birds flying, Joey? Or are they on the ground somewhere? I guess part of this is I don't even know where to look for them. And if they are flying, how f how high do they fly? They can be both. Got it. Okay. The day-night cycles are one hour, but for the last ten minutes, Eidolons don't spawn. Oh, interesting. Okay. Welcome back to stream, Rina Toast. I hope you're doing well today. Birds, 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 where are you? The one you lured was flying decently high. You had to use the arc wing to chase it. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. And I'm gonna need to get like 10 more of these things. You know what? Let's not do this right now, actually. Let's not do this right now. This is a little bit boring. I wanna do something a little bit more engaging. So let's extract. Thank you for helping me look for him, though. I really appreciate that. That device is insufficient. You are directed to secure right. and employ additional Eidolon lures. 
I love this door, by the way. I know that's like such a weird thing to say, but I really love that door. It just looks kind of cool. <laughs> Clemen, you're very engaged with the scrunklo hunt. <laughs> well, I'm glad you are. I was not, sadly. Also, Simi, I'm so sorry. I for totally missed your watch streak. You got a bite for getting 10 watch streams, streams watched in a row. Oh, thank you. Ruffle, good, wish you luck in your first Valorant game in the last four acts. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. I hope you enjoy it. Is there a way to just buy Kondrak wings? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a very well done door. Good job, Warframe devs. Exactly. I am going to take off the keys masky. All right, Joey, you're willing to step out for surgical? Oh, surgical actually had to go, though, so there's nobody, uh, there's nobody waiting right now. Thank you for being willing to do that, though, Joey. And Nacho, thank you for the 15 stream streak. You're trying to rebuild your previous 60 plus. I know. You'll get it back eventually. Hurdy, welcome back to stream. Ooh, this is a great Protea surgical. I like this a lot. The colors are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, what do we farm for now? Um, do I not like Minecraft? Why is the redeem so high? I do not like Minecraft. No, <laughs> I do not. It is such a point where very intentionally nobody will ever be able to reach it. it will. The theme was funnily enough, Power Rangers Villainous Protea. Honestly, I think you hit that. I think you got that kind of down pat there. All right, so what else can we do now? We can do, uh... Ooh, let's do Fortuna. Let's do Fortuna bounties. Because I still need, uh... I still need to get to max rank with Orb Valis. Oh wait, hold on. I don't have anybody in my party. Everybody gets dropped when you go back to the, uh... When you get back to the, uh, what am I trying to say? The ship. Slim Reaper, Lucky, and... Sting like a nuke. You gotta have lunch, you'll relinquish your spot to whoever? No problem, Lucky. Thanks for playing. I really appreciate that. And, uh, how did I get an elevator in my ship? There's, a. Uh, it's a story thing. It's a story thing. You'll get there eventually, prime time. If you do, continue doing the quests. That's essentially all. <laughs> Thanks for having you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you later, Lucky. Thanks so much for dropping in on the stream. You take care of yourself, and we'll talk with you another time, okay? Have a good one. Alrighty. So, so, so. <laughs> Masky, sorry, your lizard was teasing your cat. <laughs> really? That's kind of cute, actually. I like that. Alright, bounty time. Always fancy to lie for action. Uh, this is uh, Through Glass by Stone Sour. An old injury. One of my very, very, very favorite uh, songs. Can we do the steel path? I think we can do steel path. Well, let's just do non steel path. It might be a little easier, honestly. Yeah, same singer as Slipknot. Exactly. It's one of his other projects. You like it? Yeah, it's good. It's a good song. Your target is a worker control network. Dismantle it from the bottom up. I think as much at least. Then target the overseer. Give them a business. This one's all about. Alright. Oh, I love these missions where it's just like, kill a bunch of Corpus. You're very welcome, Cap'n. You're very, very welcome. 
Yeah, yeah. Through or Stone Sour is one of the lead singers Slipknot's other projects. So if they sound similar, it's because they're the same guy. I don't actually love Slipknot, but Through Glass is awesome. Through Glass is awesome. Hey, Cake! Good afternoon! Welcome back to the stream! How are you doing today, Cake? It's nice to have you back here. But I should be using the Torrid for levels and stuff, or affinity. Cool, cool. Your vibe and cake, very nice, very nice. We love to hear that. Ow, oh, Eric Wing, get off of me. Oh man, I guess it is almost afternoon for me. It's 11.57 in the morning right now. So we are getting pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. It's evening for you, Cake. Nice, nice. Over in Europe or Africa, maybe. Hey, Master! Welcome on into the stream. You're surprised that your schedule allows you to watch the new stream schedule. Yeah, this is experimental, this stream schedule that we're trying out right now. It is a little bit of an experiment, but... Hopefully it goes well. I'm hopeful that it's going to be, you know, good and everything. You're not much of a Slipknot fan yourself. Yeah, they're just not my favorite. I don't love metal. And cake you're over and you're up. Gotcha, gotcha. Yank. Oh, right. Nyx, thank you for the care package. Welcome on into stream, Nyx. Everybody, please take a sip of whatever you're drinking to stay hydrated and sit up straight, too. How are you doing, Nyx? It's really nice to see you here. Um, all right, I'm listening up. Listening up, you to go. There we go. Cool. You're suffering at work because you live in a capitalist hellscape. Oh, I'm sorry, Nyx. That sucks. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully work is at least okay today as far as work days go. Maybe. I'm praying for you. It's alright, you just hate Mondays. Yeah, who doesn't, honestly? Garfield was so right. <laughs> Garfield was so right. Um. Very nice. Ooh, Kuva. I'll always take some Kuva. You did reorganize your freezer, which makes you feel pretty good. Nice! That's awesome. You're working through your spring cleaning list. Very nice. I need to do some spring cleaning sometime soon, actually. But there's construction in my house right now, so I'm not worrying about it until it's over. Because obviously... It would sort of defeat the purpose to do spring cleaning before the construction is over. Wait, Volt's speed ability speeds up the arc wing too? That's really interesting. I didn't know that. Huh. Oh, right. To those of you that don't know Nick's Tartarus, by the way, they are an amazing VTuber. They play a lot of variety, a lot of cozy games. And you should go check them out. They're cool. Rice hot, you wish you had nice weather. It's actively snowing at this very second. We don't we don't stop getting snow where I live until about May, usually. Spring is a little bit of a myth where I live. So, you know, it's fine. Hold on, I actually don't think I have any mods here. Let me shout you out really fast, Nix. And of course, I'm exactly as sweet as you deserve, Nyx. Exactly as sweet as you deserve. There you are. Go check them out. Perfect. The data mass is undamaged. The visual log gate marks. 
You have to cast it before using the Arcwing and then it will last until the speed ability ends. That's fun. I like that. Assassination. All right. Do you understand? Cool, cool. The only way he's gonna show is hey, you know the Race Hot Samurai. You know that person. Race Hot's one of your regulars, I think. Race Hot's really cool. I like Race Hot. They're a cool kid. And I just think that making jewelry is like the coolest thing on earth, honestly. Race Hot plays Guild Wars with you. I know. I know. I'm still forever tempted to get back into Gold Wars 2, but I've just missed so much, right? I haven't played in like five plus years, so I just don't know. I just don't know. Nyx, you're always here for, fra for Gold Wars? Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. All right, there's the bounty done. Nice job, team. Hey Perry, welcome on into stream. To those of you that don't know the amazing and wonderful Bugbert herself, please go check out Bugbert, aka Perry Indigo. She'll tell you that her name is Perry. She's lying. Her name is Bugbert. Don't let her fool you. She also does not understand how green onions work, if that's a selling point. So go check her out. She's she's just one of my closest friends that I've met while VTubing. She's such a sweetheart. She is very, very entertaining. She's like, in honestly, a lot of ways, she's like kind of what I wish I could be as a streamer. So yeah, go, go give her a follow. She's awesome. Sometimes if you treat it as playing a new game rather than having to catch up to an old game, it's easier. That's true, Perry. That is true. I'll think about it. I'll think about getting back into, uh, getting back into Guild Wars. It's not a promise, though, so don't take this as a guarantee, you all. How have you been doing today, by the way, Perry? I hope you've been well. Where are all the enemies? There's one. Alrighty. And if I ever do decide to play, you'll be here waiting. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I am absolutely positive that you will. Perry, you didn't stew the beef long enough in your stew and now your jaw is regretting it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear it. You're just, you're just in, on your training arc, Perry. You're training your jaw muscles for maximum biting efficiency. That's what I'm hearing. You're training for the moment I turn you into a vampire, in other words. And honestly, I respect you for that. I really respect you for that. All right. Yeah, Perry's gonna get a jawline so sharp it'll cut through the beef for her. Exactly. You get me, Nyx. You get me. Upcoming trend to YouTube home, home YouTube workouts. Chewy meat jaw workout. <laughs> so true. So true. You could you could get you could start the trend, Perry. You could start the new niche. This is how you make it big. I believe in you. Get him on the ground level. I'm training my jaw. I'm going to train my jaw to bite the chewiest meat possible with maximum efficiency. Specifically so that I can bite through your finger when you're mean to me. I'm on that crocodile grind set. Trust. Perry, you only follow the Ileana workout trends. Mm-hmm, as you should. Because the Ileana workout trends are basically not working out at all. 
And I think that's the best the best way to work out, personally. <laughs> Crockiana alligator song. <laughs> it's true. How I got the jaw strength of an alligator in 10 steps. Exactly. No, 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 no. You see, you're not clickbaiting hard enough with that title, Clement Dive. How I got the jaw strength of an alligator in 10 easy steps. Nor, or even, I got the jaw strength of an alligator in 10 easy steps. You can too. There you go. There's the clickbait. That's how you do it, chat. Dentists hate this one simple trick. Oh my gosh, you guys are so ridiculous. I love you all. Yeah, getting the jawline of an of a super alligator gone wrong, in parentheses, gone sexual. That's that's my next top trending YouTube video. Watch me. Hey Willow, welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Or, here's another one. I got the jaw strength of an alligator, so you don't have to. Because I'll do my chewing for you. <laughs> and that's how I make a bajillion dollars doing home jaw workouts, too. We're combining the titles. We can make this a series, Perry. We could make this a series, a trend, even. I'm sorry you're tired, Willow. I hope you're doing okay, though. I hope you can wake back up soon enough. We're getting dangerously close to a light novel title. I was hit by a truck and sent to a world where I got the jaw jawline of an alligator. It's the same world, but I, ha I have a jawline like an alligator now. That's like the most depressing isekai I could possibly imagine. But hey, chicks dig like strong jawlines, right? So maybe I'd maybe I'd pull all the chicks that way. Where are all these enemies? There's some more. And like there you are. <laughs> Testimona, thank you for the head pads. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. All right, there we go. Hmm, where are we going now? Honestly, you'd be so into crocodile, mukbang, ASMR, isekai. The light novel writers need to catch up to our ideas. <laughs> Sorry, I started coughing because I'm not used to my uh, crocodile jawline yet. It's hard to breathe like this. Um, the, uh, the, uh, I think Perry, I think we should become the light novel writers of our dreams. What do you think? Are you with me? Are you with me, Bugbert? I hope you are. Die, coil drive. Never mind, you're not gonna die. Rip. Oh well. As long as one of us has spell check active, you're down. We can use Grammarly. Uh, get 50% off your first month of Grammarly uh, using promo code uh, Grammarly Sponsor Me at. Uh, I don't know what Grammarly's website is. I'm not actually sponsored by Grammarly. <laughs> They seem like they sponsor everyone, though, or at least they did a while back on YouTube. Grammarly sponsorship win? Look at what they're missing out on. I could be living proof that you can use whom in a real world, sen real world sentence and only look kind of like an asshole while doing it. Sponsor me, Grammarly. Sponsor me. Oh man. 
give him the business. All right. We'll start with something easy. Let's go again. It's funny to watch the sponsorship cycles. You remember when everything was Squarespace? I remember that too. Yeah, I remember. I remember. The dark days of the Squarespace sponsorships. Or Raid Shadow Legends. Oh my god, I remember that too. <clears throat> I, I forgot about Raid Shadow Legends, but yeah. I have this person on my Discord friends list who is playing Raid Shadow Legends at literally all hours of the day. Like, that's their status on Discord at all times. Their activity is just online on Raid Shadow Legends. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, no, Raid definitely still exists, Desdemona. That's for sure. You are absolutely right about that. <clears throat> you think I need to help that person? I think they're beyond help, actually. Sorry. I think they're beyond beyond help. <clears throat> you were actually just talking about Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, earlier today and how you think it's weird that you've seen no thirst about it. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen like horny art of Raid Shadow Legends either. I'm going to take that as a good thing. I'm going to assume that that's a good thing. You admit you actually played Raid Shadow Legends for the Monster Hunter crossover content? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. They got you with it. Hi, Smarko. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Why the colon? Why not ra just Raid or just Shadow Legends? I don't know. I feel like neither Raid nor Shadow Legends alone have the same ring as Raid Shadow Legends, personally. That's how I feel. Happen. You didn't pay a single dollar for Raid Shadow Legends, you can promise me. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that much, at least. You started playing Limbus Company because you saw Thirsty Art of one of the characters? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's how you know that Raid Shadow Legends sucks. It has no loots. Even Warframe has loots. That's true. Even Warframe does have loots. You make a fair point, Desdemona. Oh, Warframe absolutely has loots, Kappen. I haven't seen them, but I've heard about them. Hey, Arcraiser, you did hear Raid Shadow Legends. My name is Ileana. I'm your cozy vampire VTuber, and we are farming Fortuna bounties right now. And apparently talking about Raid Shadow Legends, which I've never played. Welcome in. No, Masky, I'm definitely not getting Endo faster here than I was in the arena. Definitely not. Fan bases will be degen. Hell, Overwatch relies on its loots because their content is so empty. Overwatch is just a porn engine uh, with a game mini, like a mini game side quest. Like actually though. Or so I've heard, I'm not degenerate enough to actually know. Um. All right, Joshua, welcome back to stream. I mean, Overwatch porn is actually more popular than the game itself. That does not surprise me. It depresses me, but it doesn't surprise me. Thank you for the follow, Arcraiser. Nice to meet you. Nice to have you here. And... Where are all the enemies to kill? There's one over here. Hello, enemy. What are you, like, floating around for? Silly little Eximus. Goodbye. You accidentally locked a jackal in the iframes with 90% slow slowing gloom and two rookies toxins. Oh no! 
you just have to wait for it now? That's so painful. I'm sorry to hear that. Sounds like a pain in the butt. Clement, you're speaking purely of what other people have told you. You're pure and innocent and have never had a naughty thought. You're a good Christian. You're such a good Christian. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you for that, honestly. Rena Toast, it's 60 seconds between Parazons now. Oh, painful. Overwatch porn is pretty much the only reason that people remember Overwatch exists. Absolutely true. Nyx, thank you for the lurk. We'll see you later. And congratulations on working full time, too. Or full time from home now. <clears throat> Cap, and you're a good boy. You are. You're a bunch of very good boys and girls in chat. It's true. I'm so proud of you. Each and every one of you. Thank you for behaving yourselves. What's my MR? I'm MR18. I started playing the game back in August, so I'm still pretty low, all things considered. And I took a few months break, too. But we're getting there. We'll get there eventually. How about you? What's your MR? What's your MR arc? There we go. There we go. Your MR12. Nice. Have I seen the Cowboy Bebop skins for Overwatch 2? No, but like you said, I've heard they're really bad. I've heard that. Kind of unfortunate, right? Ark, you took a very long break from Warframe. It's a game that is easy to go through cycles with, I think. So I totally get you. I totally, totally get that. All right, let's go ahead and get another bounty going. I think we probably need one more to cap out today. Yeah, 9,000. Actually, we need more than that, more than I thought. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't really mind. I'm just happy to just do credit or do bounties here until we cap out. Cap in... You haven't seen the actual Cowboy Bebop skins, but you saw the crossover anime OP and it was done rather well. Oh, that's even worse that the skins are not good then. Oh, they're meant to be cosplay skins, so the characters looking like themselves, but dressed as Cowboy Bebop characters. Gotcha. Yeah, that seems like it wouldn't read super well to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can imagine... If that was the goal, I can imagine how that went wrong. If you're not taking four to five breaks from Warframe, you're not a true Warframe player. Yeah, for sure. McCree does not look like a good spike. Ooh, yeah, I can imagine not. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot they renamed him Cassidy. I forgot about that. It's been like probably almost a decade since I've played Overwatch, so. I don't keep up with the news or anything. Emlyn, you're a big Cowboy Bebop fan, but you very much just like the skins. That's too bad. Warframe players taking breaks by logging in for five seconds, then logging off. I don't do that, actually, because I hate feeling like I have to log into something. You know? I know I should. I know I'm, like, never going to get Prime Sure footed as a result. But I hate feeling like I have to log into something. So I simply refuse to. Y'all, the bonds are dropping like candy now that Star Days is over. That's what I'm saying, Joey. It's kind of a funny, actually. Oberon, welcome on into the queue. Um, we will get you in after this bounty is over. You do it because the milestones are pretty enticing. That's fair. And Cap'n, you think they should make a movie or television series for Overwatch? 
I think that might be the nail in the coffin for them. Even though it would be cool, people would be so upset that, um... Actually, can I just invite you in right now? No. People would be so upset that we got, they got like a TV series instead of an actual story game like they were promised, you know? Something called more death bonds, Jesus. Your sus levels are the same level as an imposter. Oh, well, hey, we're polar opposites then, because as we know, I've never been sus in my whole life. Ever, ever, ever. Our crazy. Look what they did to Heroes of the Storm, right, though? Yeah. Overwatch has been teasing an overarching story ever since the uh, the game first released. I know. Here's the Storm is apparently making a little bit of a comeback, though. Apparently it got an update recently, which is kind of cool, actually. The only difference between Overwatch and Cyberpunk is that CD Projekt Red actually put in the work to fix their game. Yeah. You almost completely forgot they got rid of the story mode campaign in Overwatch 2, which is the whole reason it was supposed to exist. Yeah, exactly. It's so strange, dude. It's so strange. Alright. Just gotta kill a bunch of reinforcements. Sounds good to me. Too bad that CD Projekt Red is still CD Projekt Red. Yeah. And Clement, I know that people are like, Square Enix did such a right thing by like remaking Final Fantasy XIV from scratch. But I think it's a little bit less altruistic than that because Square Enix as an entire company was potentially going to go under if they didn't fix Final Fantasy XIV. That is not a joke or an exaggeration. They spent so much money developing the MMO and it was a complete dumpster fire and made them no money back, that they were literally in serious financial trouble as a result. They had no choice but to try to salvage 14. Emmy, welcome back to stream. This is Warframe. How are you doing today, Emmy? I hope you're doing super good. Yeah, 1.0 literally almost killed Square Enix as an entire company. It was bad, 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 bad for them. Really bad. You still enjoyed Cyberpunk 2077 and you thought the story was great? You just didn't, you're glad you didn't buy it on release and instead got it on sale? I have never played it. I've never even watched it. No, that's not true. I watched Polterra um, play it for one stream, but that's it. Yeah, the numbered Final Fantasy was 13 at the time, Clemen. Which was also not very successful. Well, it was commercially successful, but the sequels weren't really. You saw a crafting tree for some leather armor in 1.0 and your brain immediately rebelled. I have never seen that, Nacho. I need to look that up, actually. I'm curious now. The entire- let me put it this way, Captain. The entire end game of 1.0 uh, in Final Fantasy XIV was apparently just leave quests. Like, that's not a joke. That was the whole end game, was leave quests on launch. Alright, R over on 42. There we go. Fantastic. Let's do another bounty. Like this, do Let's do the steel path one, because if we do the steel path one, then we should cap out. Desdemona, you're actually playing Cyberpunk right now, and you're really impressed with the 2.0 update. Sadly, you could not get the DLC. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it happened. That's what I mean. That That's how bad Final Fantasy 1.0 was. 14 1.0. 
It's like really, really, really bad. As rough as Cyberpunk was on launch, it's still not as bad as Starfield. That's true. Yeah. Starfield, I've heard, is just like atrocious. I'm like, even as far as Bethesda games go. Where are the guys that we're supposed to save? Or examine the corpses of, at least. Oh, everyone else found them. You think someone asked Yoshi P if they ever considered doing a Final Fantasy XIV classic for 1.0? And his response was, why would anyone want that? Ouch. <laughs> hey, at least he's honest. At least he's honest. I respect the guy for that. But yeah, that's, that's pretty scathing. But also, or so I've heard, pretty accurate. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would like Cyberpunk or not. I don't know. Rice Hat, you're not gonna lie, you're good with never buying Bethesda again. Yeah, power to you. I've only ever played one Bethesda game, and it was one of the worst experiences of my life. And so I don't have any desire to play another. That game was Skyrim, by the way. I hate Skyrim. I did not enjoy it. From what you can understand, Starfield is at best fine but boring. Yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. Ice Marco, there's no accounting for taste. I've tried to like Skyrim. I've tried so hard, but I've never played an open world game that is so big, yet so vapidly empty as Skyrim. And with such incredibly boring gameplay mechanics, too. I don't know. I also tried it with mods. I didn't like it with mods, either. Yeah. You're excited since Final Fantasy for Final Fantasy XIV's next phase, especially since he said they're increasing the challenge going forward and he thinks they went too far in making it low stress. Yeah, I agree. I actually really agree with him. Part of the reason I don't like 14 is I think it is easy to the point of being boring, personally. That's my take. That is my take. I mean, don't get me wrong. Final Fantasy XIV has an, a brilliant story. It's really, like, bar none the best MMO story out there. One of the best video game stories out there at all. But the gameplay? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Normal content is kind of a snooze fest. Here's the thing. I know that, like, the ultimates and stuff are apparently harder in Final Fantasy XIV. I respect that. But if your normal content is that easy, I don't have any interest in your hard content either. I think that's what it comes down to for me. Yeah, Al, we're talking about 14. It's, um... I like 14. I like a lot of things about it. It will never replace WoW for me, though, because I think WoW is just the both the style of difficulty that I like more and harder in general, and I like that more, too. But there are really... There are things that 14 does very, very well, that's for sure. What the heck is this kind of rockanoid? I've never seen this thing before. Ow. They finally added a female Rothgar NPC? Oh, that's cool. Nice. I honestly kind of forgot they added female Rothgar in general. It was always kind of weird, honestly. Like, kind of really weird that there were only female Vera and only male Rothgar. Like, it just didn't really make sense, you know? Oh, female Rothgar playable next expansion. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Kind of 
Kind of like Male Vieira wearing on Walker. Gotcha. If I ever did go back to Final Fantasy XIV, maybe I would make a Male Vieira just so I could play a funny little bunny boy. I don't know though. I don't think I don't think it's likely that I'll ever go back to 14 in all honesty. But you never know. You never never know. I just somewhere along the way, I think the story lost me and that was the only reason I played it anyway. So this is going to sound silly, <clears throat> but it got kind of like too anime for me. It got too anime for me. Like, I just don't like the whole idea of like cosmic battle of the gods. We're going to the moon, blah, 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 blah. You know? It's like, I liked Final Fantasy XIV when there was a mystery, when there was high fantasy with dragons and like a conflict between dragons and mortals, not a conflict between like the two big gods are duking it out, blah, 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 you know? It got to Final Fantasy, exactly. It did. It did get to Final Fantasy for me. I know it's Final Fantasy for you. I just don't like JRPGs in general as a general statement, but yeah. JRPGs, they just, like, whenever a game becomes about, like, killing God or whatever, where, like, every character is a high schooler, we're both, then I get taken out of it a little bit. For some reason, Final Fantasy XIII did not actually really take me out of it. But I think that's just because Final Fantasy XIII was well written in a way that I never expected from a Final Fantasy game, especially from not one that's kind of maligned. Like, I really like Final Fantasy 13. I don't really like where Final Fantasy 14 went with its story eventually, especially in Endwalker. Hey, thank you for the care package, Hobbs. Everyone, take a sip of whatever you're drinking and sit up straight. Yeah, that's where JRPGs tend to lose you. They take the scope too far to be re relatable. Yeah, and I don't think that things need to be relatable to be enjoyed. But if they aren't relatable, then they need to be good, like really good in other ways. I think that relatability is often a crutch that storytellers use to make their game enjoyable or their story enjoyable when it otherwise wouldn't be. I actually read a really good article in The New Yorker in college called The Scourge of Relatability that talked about exactly that. I think you don't need for something to be relatable for it to be good, but it is a cheat code, if that makes sense. And yeah, Kappen, my favorite expansion. So my expansion rating for Final Fantasy XIV goes, I liked... Heaven's Word the most, Shadowbringers and Stormblood about equally. Um, and then Endwalker the least, well, Vanilla 14 the least, A Realm Reborn the least, and then Endwalker second least, pretty much. You can take massive scope and still ground it for the player to engage with, that is also very true. JRPGs as a genre also have a tendency, I think, to not give the characters a whole lot of emotional agency, which I think makes it a lot harder to ground a uh, ground a story, no matter how high the stakes get. Come on, good luck with your natural selves. Yeah, let's not talk about spoilers for 14 here, but Shadowbringers was really good. And K9, I thought you were in class already. That's why you really like Omori. I've heard good things about Omori, but I've never played it. The um the person who gifted me Omori. Like somebody gifted me Omori on Steam. Turns out that this person was a 
a fairly virulent child predator. And so I just, it just kind of soured me on it. I don't know. It's like, I feel like if I, I can't really not associate Omori with that. And as a result, I don't really want to play it. So it's just probably going to sit in my Steam library kind of forever. Un unplayed, unfortunately. It's not anything against the game, of course. It's just like a very, very unfortunate association that I have with the game now. That makes me, that kind of puts me off of it. Oh, no, Mori. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, I think that should be standing cap for us today. Hopefully. Let's go find out if we actually are at standing cap or not. All right, here we go. And do do do. Yep, we're done. Standing cap. Yippee. All right, thank you for doing Fortuna standing with me, everybody. Much appreciated. Much obliged. And what should we do now? What else should we farm for here today? Um. Hmm. There's actually not a whole lot left that I want to farm for, which is pretty cool. We're actually getting through the stuff. Sometimes just a something can uh, put you off a game. Someone did that for you for a while before you ever started it. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it makes sense. Sadly, does make sense. All right, let me go and uh, form my turret again. Uh, we need to do... Saddle up. Wait, hold on. Oh, I need to potato this. That would actually help me have more mod capacity. Fancy that. There we go. Okay. Now we can actually start putting real mods on the uh, and see how many more things I need to form in here. Oh, I don't have Rhyme Mounds or Violet Acceleration yet. That's right. Damn. Okay. Well, that's fine. And... Cap, and it's the whole theme of in of bleakness and enduring when it feels like there's nothing left to save that you find beautiful beautiful in Shadowbringers. I agree. I think the themes of... Sorry, I needed to cough again. I think the themes of Shadowbringers are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I completely concur. We also need to do this and <coughs> Vigilante Supplies on you. Do I not have supplies? How do I get Vigilante Supplies? Vigilante Supplies. It's going to be Cetus Bounties, right? Yeah, level 20 to 40 Cetus Bounties. Okay, well, let's go do some Cetus Bounties then. Sounds good to me. Hold on. There we go. Wait, no, we wanted... I lied. We wanted this one. There we go. Cool. Cyberpunk has a very interesting parallel theme. And over on... Let you check if they even have the Cetus Bounties for Vigilante Supplies right now. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I know nothing about Cyberpunk's story or anything. Nothing at all, actually. They don't have it right now. Oh no. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll put it on my list of things to farm. They have Augur Secrets. Oh, I've heard that that one's good. We should go farm that. We should definitely go farm that. All 
right, sure. We'll get uh, everybody back in here now. And here we go. Cool. Oh, class just got out. Nice canine. Very nice. Desdemona, you won't get into spoilers, but Cyberpunk uh, has that theme too. Of you can't save the world, but you can save, but you might be able to save yourself. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes a ton of sense. The um Wait, did I form a? Yes, I did form a. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Also, Ruffle, you're going to go. You have things to do. See you later. You take care of yourself, okay? Wait, how do I actually get to the bounty? I guess we have to go here. The, um... I, uh... I really like Vampire the Masquerade um, because it's really rooted in the idea of like fighting against being monstrous and all of that jazz. Why can't I join? This is a little bit strange. Maybe we can go to Cetus. I'm not actually sure how this works, unfortunately. Hey, Ruin, do you love some VTM? Me too. Me too. VTM, I play 5th edition. It's my favorite edition. I'm actually playing a changeling right now in, uh... I'm actually playing a changeling right now in, uh, the game I'm in right now. But yeah, it's a fun time. My name is Ileana, and we're doing some Warframe today. It's nice to have you here. I'm going to invite everybody back into the lobby. Something's kind of bugged out here. Oh, you're fine, Masky. No worries. You're actually developing a story that mixes high fantasy and cyberpunk themes, kind of like how Shadowrun did it. But you don't know whether to take it to a book or a tabletop campaign, or both, you know? Or both. But yeah, that's really cool. Storytelling is just... Storytelling is just beautiful, I think. Yeah, if you do the campaign first, then the book writes itself. Maski has the right idea here. Maski absolutely has the right idea here. All right, let's go to the Plains Vital on. Let's try this gun. Ruin, you used to play Vampire a lot more. You did a lot of LARPing for it, too. Very nice. I've never actually uh, LARPed before. I don't know if I'd super like it, but I respect it for sure. Darth, welcome back to stream. VTM was your gateway into RPGs and storytelling. Um, combining thematic narrative and mechanical elements in that extremely 90s gothic punk way hit right on several levels. It was an early lesson for you on how myth works. Yeah, right? I think the world of darkness is a beautiful, beautiful story, like setting. I sh that's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a beautiful setting. And I think the themes of the game are just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. All right, where's the secret one? Augur Secrets, here we are. Let's do it. Okay, so... I'm actually playing a changeling in the current VTM. Oh, wait, I already said that. I'm stupid. <laughs> but you guys already knew that, didn't you? Alright, find the prisoner. Here we go. Details about this relic and its whereabouts are scarce. K9, in your D&D game, you're playing a vampire warlock and he's fighting against his monstrous side. I love that for you. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, a test thumper. Hello. 
How's it going? Oh my god, stop it. God, I hate these things. I just want to turn my brain off. Is that too much to ask? Actually, I don't need to kill this thing. What am I doing? I just want the auger secrets. All right, the center cleanse, not what we needed, but that's okay. I, uh, my favorite TTRPG character that I've ever played was a vampire character. Uh, she was a vampire 5th edition character. She was a little Sombra who was embraced into the Sabbat very, very, very unwillingly. And really made a point of trying to be the best person she could be. In many ways, she wasn't a self-insert, but I related to her in many ways, and she became a very emotional character for me, and I became very, 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 very attached to her. I think the VTM has a way to do that, and it's it's just a great system. I, I really highly recommend the system if you uh, I really, 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 really recommend the system if you like role-playing. Um, all the World of Darkness games make for some truly fantastic roleplay with some really heavy themes. Darth, some people ran completely awry with uh, your LARPing, but you also love the concept of paths. Paths are, paths are quite something, that's for sure. They are quite something. Especially some of them, like Path of Metamorphosis, for example. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alrighty. Does this beam have a max range? I think it does, because I don't think that's hitting right there. I'm only starting to use the turret here. It's a really fun weapon, though. I really like this thing. Um. How? God, how far do we have to take this thing? Jesus Christ, I forgot I can wisp speed it up, though. Lemon, you're interested in playing VTM, but you never got the chance. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. What's a Torrid? It's the weapon I'm using. The Torrid and Karnan. I also really like Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I'm actually starting a new Pathfinder campaign uh, this week. My first session is on Thursday. Which I'm really looking forward to. I think my players are really excited, too. It should be good. It should be really good. I'm still deciding if I want to add a fifth player. Because currently we have four players. I might want five. But I'm running out of time rapidly to figure out who to invite to be a fifth player. <laughs> if I do actually want a fifth player. That's the problem here. Oh well. That means we'll probably stick with four. But that's what life is. <laughs> right here. Like, what even is that emote? Wobbling on the floor waiting for the game to start. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really excited too, Ray. I'm really excited too. All of my players, I did one on one sessions with each of them to kind of get them in ingrained in the game world and everything before the campaign starts. And all of them seem so into it. I'm really happy about it. Really, really, really happy about it, actually. There's almost no feeling in the world that I think is better than being the DM or a GM for or the storyteller for a TTRPG game and just like just like uh, what am I trying to say? Having all your players be super excited. Darth, have fun with that. You haven't tried Chewy yet, but it's a good system for customization addicts. Absolutely. Glad you got to vibe for a bit, too. We'll see you later, Darth, and you take care of yourself, okay? Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you another time. The, um... Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this uh, Pathfinder 2E campaign. 
it's not a system for everybody. It is very tactical and it's kind of hard. I know that sounds weird, but Pathfinder 2nd Edition is really is kind of a hard system. Um, it's unforgiving if you guys don't, uh, like if the players kind of fuck up or like aren't working together, you're in trouble. Like you might die. But despite that, I think it's, there's so much customization you can do with your character compared to like essentially any other fantasy RPG. Except for maybe Pathfinder 1st Edition. But I like 2nd Edition better because it's so much simpler. Pathfinder 2nd Edition has a... Uh, it has a pro... Or first, Pathfinder 1st Edition has a problem with being, like, overwhelmingly complex. Same with 3.5, I think. Overwhelmingly complex for sure. Hey, Sarah, so we'll see you later. Thanks for dropping in. You take care of yourself and I'll be back the same time tomorrow morning. See you soon. Me too. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Much appreciated. Thank you for the care package, Sarahs. Everyone, please take a sip of whatever you're drinking and sit up straight too. Alright, bounty note stage three is done. Oh wait, no, it's not. We have to clear the remaining enemies. Whoopsie. Pathfinder 1st Edition is based on 3.5. 2nd Edition is kind of its own thing, Clem and Dive. In a lot of ways, Pathfinder 2nd Edition kind of feels... It kind of feels like a mix between... It took it takes like the best parts of like 3.5 slash Pathfinder 1. 4th Edition D&D &D and 5th Edition D&D &D and kind of mashes them all together. It's a really great system. K9, you tried Pathfinder 1st Edition and it was so complicated. Yeah. Pathfinder 1st Edition is... It's overwhelming, girl. It's, it's honest to God, really overwhelming, I think. But, uh... Yeah, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. I've never really played it just because I don't want to because it's so overwhelming. Not sure you've never seen 4 e DNA in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, really? Even with all the martial maneuvers and everything? That feels like straight out of 4E to me. And just the martial balancing in general and feet trees and everything, it all feels very 4th E to me. Bryce Hat, that description tells you you wouldn't like Pathfinder 2nd Edition very much. That's fair. Ruined. The free action economy does basically... Uh, does take some getting used to. I agree with you about that one. I completely agree about that. You had friends who know how to play Pathfinder 1st Edition and you didn't, so they're making four attacks at level one and you have a gunslinger that does 1d6 per round, no modifiers. That is such a bad feeling, okay? I'm sorry you had to play with people who, like, didn't teach you how to actually play the game you were supposed to be playing, you know? That sucks. Nacho, it doesn't read that way to you? That's fair enough. It doesn't have to. What I say to that is get better TTRPG friends. Tables should be better than, than that, honestly. You had super hard min-maxers and you had no idea what you were doing. Yeah, the Pathfinder 1st Edition community, not so much the 2nd Edition community, but the 1st Edition community has tons of min-maxers in it. And if you wanted to play just like a silly little ratfolk gunslinger, then I can totally understand how you wouldn't have had a good time with that group. I don't like running win maxi games, personally. My games are always very roleplay heavy. That's what I love, you know? That's what I love is that roleplay stuff. So, all the games I run are very, very roleplay heavy and... 
I'm not going to say that like people who are min-maxers won't ever be invited to my table. But I will definitely be ha having a conversation with them if they are. About how it's like not... Uh, I will definitely be having a conversation with min-maxers at my tables about like... This isn't what my game is about. Please try to scale it back in this campaign, you know? Yeah, okay. That feels that feels really bad. I sincerely hope that you get a good uh a better TTRPG experience than that at some point for sure. Even a Pathfinder second edition experience. Maybe if Kay's a very good doggo, I'll invite her to be the fifth player of our game, right? How's that sound to you? I don't know if she can be good enough for that, though. I don't know if she can make it. <laughs> In your fifth edition game with your vampire, it's really good. Nice, nice. I'm glad. I personally believe that bad TTRPGs are just literally not worth playing at all. I cannot find these caches anywhere. I do not know where the hell these things are. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, somebody else found them. Nice. Good job, team. Ah, uh, no auger secrets, damn. That's okay, though. We tried our best. Let's go hit extraction, if that's cool with all of you. Because we are at the four hour mark and starting uh, with this weekend schedule, I do need to stop stream at around this time, 1 p.m. Um, and so this is the end of stream. Thank you so much for coming by the stream, everybody. It was really, really nice to have you as it always is, tomorrow, I actually have a question before we end the stream, before we end the stream, I'm going to do a little poll. It's going to be a quick poll, like a one minute poll, but start time question mark 7am. Hold on. Hold on. I'll maybe be there. All right. So here's a question. If I started, if I started an hour earlier than today at 7 a.m. Pacific instead of 8 a.m. Pacific, what would you want to come to that start time? Would you come to that start time? Sometimes would you not come to that start time? I'm just trying to uh, figure out I've been, I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to start at 7 a.m. Pacific or 8 a.m. Pacific for these morning streams. But yeah, let me know. Let me know at the top of the chat box real quick here. Okay, it looks like, it looks like nobody wants to actually come to that start time. So we'll probably keep the start time the same then. Good to know. That's very good to know. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it like once this week, but... Maybe I'll try once this week, but no promise. Red Robo, welcome back to stream. Unfortunately, we're actually ending just about now, Red Robo. Thank you so much for coming to the stream, everyone. It was so nice to have you. I will be back tomorrow, same time tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. And we are going to be raiding on out. So please copy paste our raid message if you would like to join Discord then here is our Discord invite link. Please feel free to join. We do Discord events starting this weekend. We're going to do them pretty regularly. And a special thank you to everyone who helped me farm shit today. We're going to raid on over to the wonderful, the fantastic Muffin Core, who is playing Warframe herself. Um, I've never been over in this stream before, but let's go check them out together. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll be back tomorrow. See you then.